Yeah, poutine, beaver tails, <laughs> many many things. French ladies, tire smoke, <laughs> uh, uh, that one. Robertson's Hot crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? A Robertson's crew. Oh, yeah. is that from Montreal? Oh, very Canadian though. I know they're Canadian. Yeah, well, uh, okay. I did not Canadian. know that. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't uh, use them in the states, uh, I don't think. Because of Ford, do you know them? Oh really? Yeah, no. Apparently, Ford. Uh, Henry Ford was actually looking for like the most efficient screw in the world. Uh, but because Robertson didn't want to give his patent away, they never put it in the cars. But yeah, the Robertson screw is 20% more, more efficient than the Phillips. Yeah, Phillips is stupid. What, what's the Robertson one look like? The, the square. square. Yeah. Oh, fuck that one. What? That's the best one. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> it, like, crazy. It, it. You don't even need a magnetic tip uh, screwdriver. For, it just stays on. It's that, sick. You're probably right. Yeah. Danny is an electrician. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You're probably, you probably know, but I'm just going to stay it for <laughs> my own personal reasons. Boxes. Phillips are retarded. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're waste of I never seem to have them. <laughs> that's, that's my fucking problem. <laughs> Look at Rosberg. What a dick. Oh, do you, yeah, do you have this on screen right now? Uh, like, it is on the screen. I'm sure this won't be happening again this year. <laughs> <laughs> Look how friendly. And, oh, he's just like, don't ever touch me. Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't touch me. And I know you just pulled this up. Just it just popped in just out of whatever. Yeah. A randomness. But uh, this relates to something I wanted to talk about this week. Because cool. I forget where I saw this. But Bernie Ecclestone, he was being asked about uh, challengers to... Um, Hamilton, I guess, about uh, who's going to be the next champion. Yeah. And uh, he said uh, about Rosberg and Vettel, quote, they're bad for my business. Use the word bad and my. Very, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> His business is, clear. I mean, clearly he, th he thinks of himself as the owner of F1 yeah. as a He's, thing. CDC guy. capital. That yes. guy's such a fucking warlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's he's not like, like you look at him. You're like, why is he still alive? <laughs> yeah, how? <laughs> like, <laughs> he's been sacrificing like goats, and just crows and shit. I don't know. What they no, man, he like he, he just goes. You know how like people do a like lot of children. Well, you what? know how like people like do, like use a magic bullet to make smoothies and shit. Yeah. I'm sure like he just uses something like maybe a golden magic bullet or something. <laughs> just like takes like just straight cash, blends it in there. <laughs> And then, like, directly to his bloodstream. Like, yeah. he's just he's alive yeah. on cash alone. Yeah, it's like money. <laughs> it's money, but, like, it's gold when it goes through. Oh, yeah, it's, it's something. Yeah. He, has a, he has a sickness, and the medicine is cash, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet gold. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with him, but, like, I don't want to see Rosberg win the championship. No. Not because of his attitude, either, which is what uh, I'm sure um, Ecclestone was alluding to. That they're just kind of, like... Quiet guys. Well, they're looking, Rosberg they're, they're, is kind of a dick. And but, they're not. Yeah. They're not very active, or not certainly not to the extent that uh, Hamilton is. Yeah, ha Hamilton is, he just gets out there. Yeah, but Rosberg. They asked him afterwards about what he thought of Ecclestone's comments, and he said, "Well, I'm not going to change." Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. I'm winning. Yeah, yeah. He said he's just not that outgoing, and he's not going to change his attitude. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of crazy, but I'm I kinda, just going to win. Honestly, well, like I, do, I don't think. Him winning, I don't want him to win because I'm not a fan. He's not gonna and win. He's a dick. He's not gonna win. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna. Uh, win. He's not gonna win in Canada. With Vettel sure. too. Like I love Vettel, and I don't think there's anything wrong with his attitude. He's not a dick at all. Mm -hmm. He seems like a nice guy, but he just uh, doesn't, he doesn't sell as many posters, I guess. Yeah, probably not. Maybe more now because he's wearing red. Right. Oh yeah, and for sure. Vettel Ferrari flags, but everything, sports, movies. Any type of entertainment needs heroes and villains, right? Sure. Yeah. Because even if you have for one year, one of these guys. Look at all these superhero movies. They're yeah. like our city's like <laughs> shut down every night now. You must have seen some of this suicide. Yeah, yeah just up, shit. Uh, up on Young Street. Yeah. Young Street yeah. and Wellington or whatever, all around there. Yeah. Just come well, up I just uh, I, I just saw a bunch of like New York City cabs, and I was like, get the fuck out of my city. Did you see the two, <laughs> the two pink Lamborghinis? No. 
<laughs> I think I th- it might be the Jokers. I don't know. Some guy I'm working with, he works uh, all day, mm-hmm. and then he goes and works all night on the movie set. And uh, anyways, yeah, there's. I think it's the Joker. Maybe he drives a pink Lambo. Oh shit! Yeah. He had one pink Lambo, and they had another one exactly the same, but with the roof missing. Because apparently there's a scene where like Batman comes down and like rips the roof off or something. Or, it's carbon fiber. You can't. What? How does that work? Is he or, I don't know. Maybe the, the, I don't know what happened. The roof flew off, and he's pulling the the Joker out or something. I don't know. No, if if they showed like that in the movie, it's probably just like a not factual, you know. Yeah, but anyways, there, there's so it's a many. It's superhero movie. They're allowed to rip off car hoods. Yeah, <laughs> they, can, they can do whatever they want. They're just like a bunch of dudes like bashing through office buildings. Yeah, there's so many movies like that, but everyone loves yeah. that shit. Ah, and that's what sells right now. Yeah. Apparently, See, with any sport, with, even with hockey, right? There's like these yeah. uh, enforcer dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, well, I mean, they, they're really trying to like kind of crack down on that. Like, at least bring more. Yeah, no, there's no to fighting it. and stuff anymore, right. but. No, but even like the, like the psychology behind those players. Like, what? Oh man, a lot of them have killed themselves, and that's oh, like, the, the rough the ruffians. The the rough guys like they have big problems like mentally. Why? Oh, cause just cause, cause they go out and beat the shit out of other people like I, like their okay, role well, there's, in the game is like yeah. There's no okay fighting aside. There's the guys whatever. They're just bigger. Yeah. Just smashing a guy to the yeah. boards is different than like beating his face with your gloves, right? Well, it's no gloves because they have to take them off. It's illegal to punch with your gloves. What? Yeah. Really? Did you yeah. get that? Did you get yeah, that? Yeah. If you want, if you want to fight someone, audience? you have to like throw down your gloves. I've and... seen them do that, but I never knew that you had to. Well, like if it's like a one-on-one fight, like they'll like they'll start and they're just like if you throw down your gloves, like that means you've started a fight. Yeah. I well, yeah. That's isn't that <laughs> like make the whole more sense to keep like, the glove yeah, on though? No, 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 no. Like if it makes more sense. It would in a fighting sense. Yeah, it would. I know this is a Formula One podcast, but I know there's been a lot of talk in uh, MMA, yeah, not just the UFC about going back to no gloves, but because it's safer, people don't die as as often that way. Yeah, you can't get concussions. You can't just throw haymakers with your put your whole shoulder into it because you'll break your hand. You can hit a guy still with these gloves, and you tape. Well, obviously in hockey they're not taping their wrist, but you tape up your wrist like this. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh yeah, it's nuts. And boxing is even crazier, but oh, that's more power. Oh yeah, they'll just end up with like bloody knuckles at the end, but. But, but no no broken you know no yeah. no nobody's gonna die yeah. Yeah. yeah even even as far as the MMA goes there's a lot of, some guys that are like the good guys and some are the bad guys yeah. and I don't know why my grandfather was huge into the WWE WWF style I was for about a oh year yeah that yeah, type yeah. of fighting heroes Undertaker. and villains <laughs> yeah. so, my point is well, Steve Austin three sixteen all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you smell what the Rock is cooking he still fights too doesn't he Dwayne Johnson. No, he makes movies. Yeah. He doesn't, doesn't do make... wrestling at all anymore? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think he left that boat a long time ago. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so He's maybe a bit too old for that. <laughs> and I don't know about that. He's gigantic. He, he is, is gigantic. Fucking massive. Anyway, my point is Bernie Ecclestone is lost touch with all of oh, reality. reality. Yeah. Yeah. No, it seems like he's not in touch with it. That is for sure. Yeah, like these two guys are two... Rosberg and Vettel, he's not saying like... Some guys who they never talk to in the media. Now, what's, like, I don't want this bad for my business if they win races. What's interesting <laughs> about this picture right here, or uh, uh, this GIF, as it were, um, is particularly to me is that where it happened. Oh, is this? Uh, Get it! Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess what's it's happening? Montreal, Guess what's it. happening this weekend? Montreal. Um, Ottawa. Is a race in Ottawa? No. Nah, it's much better. I know. I know. I'm just playing. I'm it's, joshing. It's, a, it's the weekend of the 2015 Canadian Grand Prix. We're really but, excited here. We'll, we'll get to that later, though. Yeah, okay. Let's talk a bunch of shit about wait, Mon- wait, wait, Monaco. Wait. Before that, oh, yeah, this, this is the Formula One Flat Out Fever podcast. Oh, yeah, it is. I almost messed that up. Yeah, again. you kind of did. Yeah. Flatoutfever.com. Listen to bamboo.com. If uh, you want. Uh, uh. Yeah, uh. Catch more of those bass lines. Mm. We got Twitter. We're Twitter at Flat Out Fever. Um, yeah, Reddit. What Email us. Yeah, Flat Out Fever at Gmail or 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 if you want uh, info at Flat Out Fever Yeah, get in touch. Send us things. Comment. Yeah, c- c- yeah. Berate us. We whatever. do. Yeah. We 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 have whatever's in your heart. We have a uh, sorry guys that we <laughs> haven't been so uh, so persistent with our, epi- with our episodes as of late. Uh, just a couple of things showed up. Uh, we, we will promise. To you though, that we will be pumping out some co- some serious content mm. over the week and a bit to come. Um, we have a lot yeah. of features and the weeks after because yeah. this is getting ridiculous. No, you know, I was gonna say a couple weeks ago, like you know, we've had shit keeps coming up. Like 
like we've each been busy with things and it just keeps overlapping. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. well, I, I, actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah. No, um, sorry. Sorry. no, no, but, but for sure. Uh, it, it, after that, uh, but this weekend, keep an eye out um, for, for those of you that are um, the, that have been following us from the beginning. Thank you for the, for the new people that are listening. Welcome. We love you guys. You. Yeah. Hit, hit subscribe, you. iTunes yeah. and YouTube, MP3s. We are, what, videos, whatever you like. Oh, yeah, you can, you can download everything from our website. You can subscribe uh, on iTunes. You can, uh, but yeah, keep an eye out this weekend coming up. Actually, starting tomorrow, mm, uh, yes. probably, or Thursday, we're going to start uh, posting a couple of like snips here and there. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to, well, we really want to focus, like, because one thing that I, that I noticed that a lot of people just don't know and, 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 and don't have a grasp of um being a fan is is like what is it like to actually go to a race mm. and and this is i think that uh, that i keep seeing on like forums and things like reddit people are like oh like i'm thinking of going to such and such race but i don't That's know true, eh? yeah when you see it on tv you just see like a bunch of colorful shirts yeah. in the stands yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they just got there yeah <laughs> so we 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 are gonna bring the behind the scenes on what it's like to going to a race uh particularly um the canadian grand prix obviously we'll be there we'll be out there in montreal and if you're listening to us uh right now and you are going to be there and you are going to attend the red meetup we will be at the red meetups as well uh, yeah for sure yeah so uh come say hi uh if I have a, if I'm drunk enough, I might buy you a beer. Well, who knows? <laughs> no, you won't. No, probably won't. I probably get them to buy me a beer. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Flat of fever. Now go, Monaco. Yeah, that happened. Uh, grid boys. That happened. Yeah. Yeah. What? Unfortunately. The? Hold on. Did you watch this race? Uh, no, actually, because I was gonna, I was gonna watch it with Jay, and then yeah. I was like, hey man, text me tomorrow. I didn't get a text from him. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna watch it together, and then. I don't know. Yeah. Just, yeah, I feel bad. It I caught happen. up though. Oh, I actually didn't check my um, thing yet. Your what? Fantasy League. Oh yes, I think I am still doing quite well. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the exact. I don't have my laptop here. I don't have the numbers, but oh, well, I'll be right back. Go. We'll do a, a bigger update about that after the next post Montreal. Series. Uh yeah, Grid Boys. What was that? I, I never okay as much as I trolled and and you know went went through the articles, I couldn't find out exactly why they did it. I know that there was a there was some sort of reasoning behind it as to maybe I think it's just the modern sensitivity and right yeah some bullshit like that and in, since in air quotes for sure WEC uh, completely banned great girl, girls so yeah, now yeah they have oh, no great girls anymore. What, so what what was Monica trying to play it off like oh you know we're not we're not just sexualizing females we're sexualizing men too that was that was bullshit yeah you know cause I, I, I show this to my friend who is a girl mm -hmm. and I was like see look something about F1 that you could get behind yeah and she's like oh yeah that's awesome uh, it's just so progressive and stuff like that and, and I'm like all right now look at them they're all dressed the same like the good girls wearing like short tight pants <laughs> all the same haircuts and stuff there's just sexualizing men instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right. if anything, sure. okay. If anything, because I'm, I'm sure, I don't know, in some ways it bothers some women that there's sure. like half naked chicks. Well, they're not usually half naked, but you know. No, like, actually, like, if, it, if anything, if anything, um, grid girls in F1 are way more modest uh, than grid girls in, in many other motorsports. Like, have you seen yeah, the picture American of football even? They have the, the cheerleaders flipping no. around with their underwear flashing. And yeah, but have you seen the grid girls for, for something like MotoGP? Like, those girls, like, you can... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, like... Because <laughs> I did some Googling. They're way more risque than, than anything <laughs> that you... Should, like, with, in, in F1, F1 goes to, like, uh, really conservative uh, societies, like... Uh, you know, somewhere anywhere in the Middle East or even China, like Can you that camera bit. The the grid girls there are, are just they're 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 wearing like full dresses, like down to like below their knees and stuff. Yeah, or it's, pants or like, it's all not, modest. It's not that bad, and it's it's a bit of tra like it's it's a it's a thing of tradition that, I mean, I don't think it's hurting anybody really. No. If if anything, these girls, uh, these aspiring models. Or whatever are getting a good gig. What they are, that's yeah. what they want to yeah. be doing. That's exactly. That's what they want yeah, to be and doing. Who's someone but, else to tell them whether they or should not do it or? Uh, right? These fucking feminazis, man. So yeah, some you say that with more of an accent. It sounds like a foreign word. <laughs> Feminazi. 
<laughs> they don't have a feminazi. <laughs> That's a good That's point, it. though, right? I mean, yeah. like, who's to yeah. say? Because I'm sure, like, there's going to be girls in the crowd that if they see, like, a bunch of, like, beefed out dudes, they'll be like, fuck, that's hot as shit. Well, but, that, but that, that's what happened in Monaco, and nobody really cared for it. Except oh, really? for, like, maybe some girls, but... Some women probably did. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, Vettel was the most outspoken about it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, you, you, he, he said something like, like it. what's... He said, basically, like, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. He's like, you pull up behind the man, and what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. He said he's going to talk to Eccleston about it. Hopefully he's oh my got God. some touch on reality. That touch, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know. Well, if if anything, for the women, if they like that, why not just have a man and a woman? They both hold the sign, stand in front of the car. Oh, or 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 alternating, man, and, like you know, one man and a woman, like you know, on each like each car, yeah. like one two, one yeah. two. Or or that seems very reasonable. Or of or they wouldn't do that. Or the front end of the grid gets the girls and the back end of the grid gets the guys <laughs> you don't qualify in the top 10 you it's, as, a, as an extra encouragement to go like to co- to qualify higher <laughs> <laughs> like the first the first but this, this is maybe what you they should do you don't think these guys are just drowning in pussy like <laughs> they don't give a shit about these things man yo man I'm sure they're just like any other guy. Like they, they would rather be staring at a, a, a nice supple bum. Yeah, Vettel has a <laughs> right. Vettel has a kid. I'm pretty yeah. sure he's and, married. Yeah, well, I don't know. He, probably, I don't know if he's married, married or not, but like he has, a, he, he has, has a, a he has a very long term girlfriend. I'm sure he's quite faithful to her. Right. But he'd still rather look at a nice like you know right than this, some plump ass bum. when you're sitting in the car like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. yeah. How how your feet up in the air. Like what's their height? Uh, the top How, of their helmet. They're very, they're very low to the ground. I, I can imagine because below your waist. Yeah, basically. Um, Sit on the floor. That's how high. They're actually like they're they're not sitting like their sitting position is not this. They're, they're like almost laying down. Yeah, they're, they're, oh shit! Yeah, like they're, they're their like fists. Fists. to keep to keep the the whole uh, car weight down. They have Hold their on. whole feet up by their shoulders Hold like on. this. You guys just keep on doing that for one second. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 just want to take a picture. Yeah, we're like, yeah, they have their feet up like this. Yeah, see my. Sucks now. Yeah. Oh, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but the ass is right there. In the yeah. face, in the <laughs> that that uh, image is going to be planted in my mind. Sweet. <laughs> um, <laughs> great so, boys. Rosberg won again. Third third in a row. Yeah. Rosberg again. Whoa. I, f- I found this interesting. Oh, sorry. Third for Monaco in a row. Yeah. Third, okay. third time in I Monaco. I thought you said like third race in a row. Third like, Monaco in a row. Third Monaco in a row. That makes Which sense. It, it was amazing. It was uh, the very last minute he's linked in, and we, well, because of a wrong strategy call. Now I have heard uh, from many shady sources that I, n- nobody should really listen to or trust. But apparently, uh, Lewis actually kept talking to the team and saying, "Like, why don't you bring me in? Why don't you bring me in? I want I want fresher tires." So he was doing a bit of the. So he's at least partly responsible. But he, th- well, he thought everyone else was gonna pit though. Yeah. Was it just like a sort of a strategy thing that happened? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was it was a big was... thing. But I think honestly, I think that Mercedes did it on purpose to give Rosberg the three in a row. You think Mercedes did that on purpose? You don't? Why no. wouldn't they want one of their drivers to win three times in a row at Monaco? Because it, it's like, oh, what kind of car was he driving? Mercedes. Boom! Awesome. He's one of the. Oh, I, I smell a conspiracy. I theory. guess so. <laughs> you didn't think? Come on, man. Okay, when did Hamilton sign his contract? He the fu- weekend. Yeah, exactly. So before that, before this all happened, I think he screwed himself. If he hadn't signed that, if he pushed it one more race or another maybe couple he of weeks, won? is that what you're saying? Like maybe he would have. Maybe Mercedes. There's no way they up? would pull that shit on him because then he'd be like, I'm sure he has a ton of. De- okay. If I, for if Ferrari, I, if Ferrari I this, it's Ferrari Ferrari would love to have him. That's that's a fact. They, as much as they say they wouldn't, they would. Of course they would. Yeah. Anyone would want to have yeah. Hamilton. But or I'm, I think he wants to stay at Mercedes. But now he's got to be thinking like, oh shit, they just gave my win away to Rosberg. What? Yeah, come on, man. I'm I'm pretty sure. There's no way they would have pulled that off. If yeah. At the end, I guess Mercedes Motorsport exists. Did you see as that a, as a, as a marketing tool to se- sell hashtag? more silver cars, right? Yes, of course. That's the only reason they're there. Yeah. Did you see that hashtag Ask Toto this week? 
Oh yeah, I actually I I sent a I sent in a question and it never got answered. Oh yeah, I couldn't I couldn't think of anything good enough. I didn't, well, I I, I me? well what, I asked ask? well, I asked him if he thought that there was a leadership crisis in F one, <laughs> and of course he wasn't gonna answer. That's yeah, a, that was yeah. That's a broad question. <laughs> but Do you think shit is fucked? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like that's what you said. Yeah, exactly. Uh, pass. Somebody <laughs> asked him if. Hamilton had managed to pass Vettel, would he have won the race? And he said, oh, he kind of deflected the question, didn't answer. But I think he said basically no. That Hamilton would have finished P2 if he had passed Vettel. Mm. They wouldn't have ordered Rosberg to give that place back. Oh, no. Well, I mean, yeah. It just, I don't know. This is, that, whole, that whole thing was whack. Um, it makes, like... Aside from the marketing thing, I'm pretty sure they're confident Hamilton's going to win the championship anyway. Right. But getting him the win over Rosberg, keeping Vettel in third would break that gap so much wider. You know what I mean? Like, there, it's yeah. uh, Vettel is within one race. Any any race that if Hamilton doesn't finish one time or whatever, he's if they if they take gonna, if, if they take place. each other out, if they take if if, if yeah, somehow that could happen again, yeah, some yeah, if something happens and they take each other out, Hamilton and Vettel, no, Hamilton and, and Rosberg. Rosberg, yeah, yeah, yeah that too, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think if it wasn't fully planned, it was partly planned, and then they just used it for for sure. Now all the big guns. Uh, one, one thing that's kind of characteristic of, of Monaco uh, is that a lot of executives and and just all all the people with the money um, come out to the race. And yeah, it's 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 a well known thing. Like the, yeah, that's what it, happens. Yeah, it, yeah, if anything, one of the biggest and like most important from the like, sponsors' point of view and things like that. Some of the most important meetings of the year happen in Monaco. Um, obviously. Of, uh, the strategy group had some meetings pre and post Monaco and the, during I'm sure there were like just meetings secretly and whatnot. Uh, still nothing has come out. We're going to have some like right now all we know is that the Formula 1 is going to look slightly different in 2017. Um, but w the one thing that is clear to everyone is that because the 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 solutions that they've come up with has been have been let's be honest kind of weak, you know we're talking about going yeah. back to refueling uh, and oh yeah rims different sizes you know it's kind of weak. Um, the one thing that is very evident yeah, the rims have nothing to do yeah. the rims have to do with the tire manufacturers just wanting to translate some of their technology to road cars right unless you have like a Toyota Yaris little <laughs> tiny, tiny car you don't have 13 inch rims on correct <laughs> they're 13 they're 14 and 15 uh, minimum now on modern cars yeah so so it, it has to do with that uh but but yeah like the, the fact that the, all the big guns would have wanted would have been there uh, and actually I, I i know that Doug McKenzie that's uh the guy that's he's the head of CBC uh, so Doug McKenzie was in Montreal uh, Montreal in Monaco. in Monaco. Monaco um so the, the big guns were there Still, nothing has come out that significantly that, that you can tell. Oh, okay, this will save F1, or 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 this means that F1 is going in the right direction. Nothing has come out there, and this is ju it just proves to everyone that is flawed. Now, at the beginning of the year, remember when I did that profile on the strategy group, mm -hmm. and I started saying, <clears throat> "Oh, it's not going to work," uh, and I don't like it because it it means that the people that are going to be or, or that these decisions that are going to come out of there are only going to benefit the top teams that's what i thought i was like uh, i thought that the decisions of the f1 strategy group were gonna we're gonna if anything they were gonna ruin the sport because they were gonna affect negatively the smaller teams right what i didn't consider is that they weren't gonna make any decisions at all <laughs> which which is what's <laughs> happening <laughs> Yeah, and I think there's still so much indecisiveness. Like you, you're talking about uh, Horner being like groomed to be the Eccles next Bernie, the next Ecclestone. Yeah, the Sky. If anyone saw the Sky broadcast, they talked to him before Quali, and he said no, no to refueling because it's basically creates a computer simulation for passing each other in the pit stops. Like when is the best time to oh, fuck. take a pit stop and keep the fuel tank as empty as possible for as long as possible? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's. Ridiculous. And, but he called 2017 and used and stressed the word reinvention. So he said, uh, and he said that the drivers will be working much, much harder physically. 
and oh, probably not. Yeah, but power that, steering. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, that, that could just be okay. Get rid of power steering, but going yeah, going faster though. Mm-hmm. Uh, f- I'm sure fighting more with more downforce. Yeah. Fatter tires, yeah, whatever. Do you Who think the, the collective weight of the drivers will increase due to muscle mass put on? <laughs> due to just fucking turning? Because I imagine, have to. I, I, have to, yeah. I, I imagine so, right? Well, bit. the guys uh, in 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 the eighties when they didn't have any power steering, like mm-hmm. they were more built. You could tell, like it, Formula well, One drivers were jacked. built. No, they weren't jack jack, but they were they were not skinny. Like right now, oh, you have okay. some skinny dudes in there. Like who who would you say is the smallest in the right now versus the largest? Yeah, the largest it has many people say that it's Hulkenberg. Like he's but he, but it's because, because he's tall. tall right? Yeah, yeah. because Hulk. he's really tall. Um, and the the little it, it's got to be Max Max Verstappen probably, because he's just he's built like a boy. <laughs> he's built like a fifteen year old boy. He, well, he is only seventeen. <laughs> so he's built like a seventeen year old boy. Yeah, <laughs> like a seventeen year old boy. <laughs> Speaking of, did you see the crash? Which led oh, to I saw world? like a highlight of it. Okay, uh, but that was it. I thought he was dead, man. I was watching that scary shit, man. I was laying down watching at home and I jumped up and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Hold out to myself. That was intense, man. Yeah. That was a big crash. Yeah. I don't know. Another okay, another thing, Sky. Oh, were people expecting that? Like because it seems like Monaco is such a different kind of race compared to other races. Yeah. And this is sort of where like the the cream of the crop sort of come. They're like, no, this is how you race. This is how right. fast turns and, you know, a, narrow roads and stuff like that. Uh, I just met, has Max Verstappen ever played Monaco or, or driven Monaco before? He, he, he yes. Yeah, I think in uh, GP2 or whatever. No, uh, in, in, uh, in, the, in this previous category was uh, European Formula 3. European Formula 3 doesn't go to Monaco. So, no, this is right now. He was. He's never been to Monaco before. Oh shit! Another one of the rookies. I'm thinking of. Yeah, a Formula Formula Renault 3.5 does race in in, in Monaco, but yeah, th- there are some subcategories that will will give you some Monaco experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, Max Verstappen presumably had none. Shit, that's pretty crazy. But. Then, then this just goes to say again. This, this is just the fact that he crashed in such a way. Um, maybe it's an argument for the people that that are pro experienced drivers in F one. They're saying that yes, one by the time that you get to F one, you better be ready to cope with stuff like Monaco. Yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah. Um. Do you find that like them introducing new tracks in new countries and stuff like that? Eventually, the older ones. Uh, Design-wise, at least, like Monaco would ever leave or sort of... It's a big debate right now, man. It's a big big, big debate. I wouldn't... uh, For many things, I wouldn't want to see some some tracks leave. Um, It's definitely... Monaco is by far, at a glance, like one of the prettiest ones, if not the prettiest one. It's the coolest looking thing on the planet. And and, and going to Monaco, just everything that goes around it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I find it very hard, at least for the foreseeable future, Mm -hmm. that that we'll have a a, a Formula One World Championship without Monaco. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, But But. I think any other track is up for chops. Now, because the sport, really, started in Europe, Mm -hmm. some of the older tracks... Are in Europe. I mean, mm. that just follows. You know, yeah. <laughs> one thing follows another. But yeah, I it's... think Bernie's not attached to those at all. Exactly He's attached to where the money is. <laughs> now, we're, now we're yeah. ta- we're talking about yeah. So some tracks in Europe versus a new track built somewhere else. The thing is that to me, as a fan, um, I've found that most of the time, all these old timey tracks, yeah, because maybe maybe because. They weren't thought out, maybe because they weren't really planned. A lot of them just sort of happened to be like, like for example, Spa was just a number of like just county roads. Let's put it that way, just like roads around oh, around the forest that connected, and eventually they're like, okay, well, why don't we race around them? Just just block off like the uh, the exits and let's <laughs> race around it. And that and that happened with Silverstone was uh, Silverstone going was going around an airfield. Air yeah. Oh, Jesus. It, the Canadians actually had it for a little bit uh, during World War Two, but anyway, and um, it, it, so many of them were, were just as a product of the uh, the existing layout of the of the roads, and they're right. like, okay, let's close it up in a loop. Canada is the there. opposite. That island never used to exist at all. 
Oh yeah, the oh, island they made like they turned like they made that. that, that that's a man-made island. island. Yeah, the Jesus. island came when they dug out the subway tunnels from Montreal. Yeah, they just dumped, they just dumped all the dirt in the middle of the St. Lawrence and created the island. <laughs> and then they were like, "Hey, why don't we make a Formula track on it? Formula One track on it?" Yeah, oh and so and so it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That, was that a man-made island. is fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but but anyway, yeah, some of the older tracks are, are maybe better designed than the new tr newer tracks. Because maybe because there wasn't any design process to it, maybe yeah, because it happens trying a bit too hard nowadays. Yeah, yeah. With the Telki ones, yeah. they, they're trying to fo like to follow some sort of formula, formula for overtaking. Yeah. That's yeah, exactly. To make o overtaking, that's a yeah. I don't know. It's kind of lame, but I think most of the European ones that are left now, I think, will be there for a while. Hmm. There, there's a there's a strong reason why uh, to say that the British Grand Prix won't won't go because. Uh, all, for, all the teams for me, are in Britain. In terms of per percentage of people that watch the F1 too, yeah. versus uh, uh, percentage of people that watch F1 out of total people in the country, I think I think uh, Britain has the highest ratio. Oh like, really? Like F1 is probably more popular in Britain in term like in pure terms like that, um, with a close second of uh, Italy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, Italy. Uh, Germany is coming back next year. Yeah. Monaco is. More or less France Grand Prix. Yeah. Hungary Hungary is usually quite a lot of attendance, I think, because it's cheaper to go there. Right. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of people go there. Uh, that's the one in the forest. No, no, at no. Spa, Spa. Belgium. Ah, Belgium. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Belgium. Yeah, that one's not going anywhere. Your Most birthday. of those are pretty, yeah. pretty classic. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, but I don't know. But like, the the yeah, argument like, is now that Monza might be. Uh, they're saying that Monza yeah. is. If is, I had to choose any so, of them to lose, Monza is my choice. Yeah, a lot it's of kind of boring. It, it yeah, Monza it, Monza has a. It, it's it's not necessarily like a technical track. It's more of a speed track. Yeah, it's got. Well, it's like the the temple the, of speed. The temple of speed. <laughs> but they they do say that going to Monza is very special as a fan. I still I I. Let, let me put it this way. I I don't I only want no not only, but one of the big reasons why I want Monza to stay is because I want to go to Monza for a Grand Prix. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> I want to like I want Monza to be around for as long as it takes me to go to Monza. <laughs> just as, being as selfish as Bernie Eccleston. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> don't close it till I get there. Yeah. Well they just repaved that weird that weird oval for some reason. So the banking. Yeah, yeah the, maybe the, it'll be around the for Monza a banking. If they I bet I I posit to you that if they bring the banking back into Formula One, that would be a very exciting track. <laughs> That's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not it's just not happening. Uh you said something with the Ferrari wind tunnel. Now that we're now that we're talking about Monza. Uh okay. Ferrari have been accused of sort of cheating because i don't know for anyone that doesn't know this year there's sort of been a crackdown on uh wind tunnel use yeah and uh i don't know how many there's a if you can look it up i guess there's a certain number of hours per week or or per time period that you can have your wind tunnel running okay and uh there's not sort of a loophole but there's a rule for prospective teams coming into f1 you get unlimited uh wind tunnel use until you start really so has f1 which is They're the coming american team coming next in. year we talked about this a few months ago they actually own in i think south carolina or north carolina south one, in south carolina one of the carolinas they own carolina. actually one of the biggest and most advanced wind, tunnels. wind tunnel and rolling rolling road right, right. facilities in the entire Holy world shit. yeah but they realized that they're not going to be able to build this car by themselves, and they just bought out Manor's factory in Europe. Oh, somewhere and, in the state, in in UK. So somewhere in the in Europe, yeah. UK. Uh, they, they bought they bought this facility uh, as a central spot, which yeah. is closer to Ferrari, and they've been using Ferrari's wind tunnel. They have sort of a technical partnership with Ferrari. Okay. Right. They're using their engines and as many parts as they're technically allowed to, at least at the beginning. Right. Of from Ferrari, straight from Ferrari. They have a partnership that they share technologies back and forth. An Italian company is making their chassis, Dallara. Right. Yeah. They've outsourced. That's one thing that they've outsourced. Mm -hmm. They've contracted out Pretty the much. chassis chassis building. But the the whole controversy came in with a bunch of the other teams. I think, namely Mercedes, complaining that 
uh, Ferrari's advantage where they've been catching up is in their aero package. Their car is super balanced. How about a beer? Do you guys want more? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I can take I'll one. Take another beer. So their, their cars become super balanced, and that right. they've sort of been cheating, skirting the rules by taking the Haas parts, which they are testing in their facility right. as well, and sort of crossing, crossing streams, so to say. Ah, so using, they're, they're, using some of the data that Haas is generating for their. Well, yeah, I mean, if they build the engines and they have that partnership, I mean. Right. So based on this, I, I wrote a note about this. I don't have a lot of notes this week. <laughs> Uh, this guy's name, the FIA basically paid them a visit to their, to their facility and they say that it checks out. Right. But this dude's name who went to go do the checking, I wrote this down here, is March, Marcin Budkowski and, um, he used to be the McLaren's chief aerodynamicist and he worked for Ferrari at one point competitively. Oh, so interesting. There might be a little con conflict there. Yeah. Maybe Mercedes will have something to say about it. But as far as he's concerned and the FIA that um, Ferrari's following the rules, keeping the data separate and not stealing any info from Haas's developments. So, well, I mean, on paper they could say, yeah, no, we're, we're not doing that. Yeah, but in reality, so in reality, it's just like, it's just doing this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it looks cool. Oh, that Wingler works pretty good there, uh, Mr. Haas. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, mind if we <laughs> chuck it on our car there for a second? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... We have similar engines, right? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're talking about the FIA and um, enforcing rules, there's been, up until last week, sort of an interpretation free-for-all on the flexing of front wings. you read anything about no, that? No, I didn't, but I'm glad that you brought it up because I only saw the headlines, so I'm glad that you read it. Yeah, so you, you you probably understand more about that shit than I do anyway. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, there's there. Okay, they talked about this last year because you know when you get the uh, one of my favorite things like of the last like five years mm -hmm. of the entire not even F one the entire world of innovation <laughs> technology is super slow mo HD in sports. It's so <laughs> good. It's, like, it is so good. Slow mo HD works for what it looks pretty cool all the time. Yeah. But sports specifically, like yeah. it's amazing, man. Like yeah. fights or I'm sure I don't watch any hockey, but they must show like so, the the stick flex and the Yeah, the yeah, puck, yeah, definitely. Puck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? It doesn't make that sound, but yeah. It, it so, should. <laughs> but it should. You're right. They talked about this last year with the, the F one cars coming around the corner that the front wing's doing a lot of this. Mm. Doing a lot of like bouncing and then doing this. Oh, okay. It's because yeah, it's because they're so stiff. Because they're they're, they're not stiff. They're enough. Not, oh, they're not stiff as enough. Stiff as oh, they okay. should be. Which yeah. last year they cracked down on it and they've made new rules about. There's I think. Okay, but listen. Okay, what, what, was what was happening last year too, though, is that there were rumors and that were probably very well funded that founded. Uh, founded. <laughs> they're probably very well funded too. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Somebody paid for these goddamn rumors <laughs> to be out there. <laughs> <laughs> that that what was happening is that pe uh, some teams, a a k a Red Bull, for example, were using meta materials that would uh, change oh, their properties man. under different uh, conditions. Like oh. uh, as it got hotter, maybe they could expand or contract. So if if you made say your front wing or your back wing or or a part of the back the back of the car mm -hmm. where it gets really hot because of the engine and whatnot. Um, if you made if you made certain parts so that under a lot of uh, under a lot of heat they would turn a certain way or compress oh, or something because cool. you're you're not allowed to do them memory uh, metals yeah you you're not allowed to do that like uh you know uh, electronically or, right. or 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 even hydraulically you know you're not supposed to alter any of the right. any of the aerodynamics of the car but there was that, that that option. What if it did it itself by itself? Yeah. <laughs> All by itself. Oh, I, I didn't know it did that. Do you remember this uh, going back? I think two years now. I'm pretty sure this dude got fired. One of the guys, he's the jack man or one of the tire guys or something. One of the front end guys in the pit. Uh, one of the Red Bulls came in. They changed the tires and everything. And he stepped in front of the car and his knee touched the nose. You remember that, and it kind of like bent like that. They had to. And it looked like it was made out of like Muppet material. <laughs> they, 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 they had to replace the nose, and he just he grabbed it by the front and like yeah, twisted or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. just kind of like bumped it in a weird way that he shouldn't have. And, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, not the wing itself, but just the nose. Oh my so God. it was made of like some foam that was bending down and creating more downforce. The faster it went, it would bend. Oh down. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then into last year, so getting into last year now. Yeah. 
they cracked down. They changed the rules on flex on the end plates. Okay. So the two very end plates, somewhere halfway through the season last year, they changed the rule that it can only droop so much, mm. dip down towards the road, and it can only twist so much. So you could have yeah. that you're going faster than the wing twists or droops down and sort of at high speed, I, I guess you would want in certain tracks anyway, where there's not super high speed corners yeah. to stall the wing. You want to yeah, yeah. stop creating downforce. And so now this, so they cracked down on that, got it settled this year, the actual elements of the wing, like they'd have like two elements like this. Yeah. And then the faster they go, they're like on the onboard cameras, the nose cameras they are clearly bending down at speed. And then as soon as they hit the brakes, they pop back up. So you, you in the slower the slower parts where you're getting less air over the wheel, yeah. you get more downforce for turning. You speed up, it bends down, and you go faster because the the air is not Ugh, getting deflected, geez. right? So starting in Canada, there's a new test, but I think they're just going to be same like they do. I think just randomly choosing cars. Mm. They can randomly stop any car and say, we're going to just check your wings right now, mm. check your fuel, check your tires, check your yeah. pressures or anything. So the uh, this is, I believe, or not believe, the exact numbers here, on each element of the wing. So they have like the cascading wings that go up, yep. and there's the main wing. Right. Each one of those has to withstand 60 newtons of force okay. and not flex more than three millimeters. Uh -oh. So anyone that's a physicist, I guess you can probably visualize 60 newtons. I don't know how much that is. I don't know. I need to... Look it up, Javier. Yeah, check it out. Oh, convert, it, convert it to pounds or kilos. So, anyways, that's that's the new rule coming into force this weekend. Oh shit! But everyone's gonna. Can they like, just do that? Can they just sort of whenever they want? They're like, ah, uh, you guys can't do that. Yeah, basically, it's happened. Like, I'm sure it happened. What, like every race, or to some degree? Not all every race, but a couple of years ago it was really crazy. Like with the blown diffusers, and then they banned them for one race and brought it back. It, the it was craziness. Oh yeah, so I think uh, they learned from that. So what is it? Sixteen kilos. One point six kilos. One point six kilo. Mm. Yeah. So I guess the wind, I guess that's a lot of force. But yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I guess that doesn't have to be super stiff. Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, so I guess. This is actually a pretty cool uh, unit of measurement because something, you know, how like uh, in. in, in uh, Because Newton's mes measure mass, mm -hmm. not weight, uh, but something that, that, that weighs wait, 16 Newtons here is going to weigh 16 Newtons on the moon. Oh, but crazy! That, so that, that's why they're more precise. That, that's oh, why, that's why they would say that. That's why they would say okay. Newton yeah, instead of kilograms. Because they're physicists. Yeah, <laughs> and they're smart and they know things. Yeah. There's no uh, moon uh, moon GP yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Although there soon should be. There, there will be. be. We talk, well, again, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Mars. There's going to be a race on the moon. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. With the X little, Prize or something. Right, 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 right. Google X is doing a uh, yes, yeah, there's, man. There's yes, an open competition yes. worldwide right now. Anyone can enter. You build a moon rover, yeah. enter it into the contest. You're going to shoot it to the moon and race them. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. So, do, do you know that like, the entire population of Mars right now is robots? Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that weird head tilt <laughs> shit at me. It's a robot planet. It's not even a planet. Wait, how many? How many two? Three? No, I think two. there's got to be like a dozen. I, would say. I mean, well, like how many Dead active, ones. right? Well, curiosity. If they're not like, alive, they're they're dead. So they're, <laughs> it's think, not a population. It's uh, a graveyard. Are, are robots alive though? Then that's another question. Well, I mean, like if they're <laughs> alive in the sense that we're controlling them. At live the ones, there might only be one right now. Curiosity. Yeah. I think the Jade Rabbit died a few months ago, right? Yeah. That was the Chinese one. Yeah. Didn't it just die when it got there? <laughs> it's yeah, just it very quickly last after. <laughs> yeah, I think they had a problem with their power supply. It didn't last super long. But they said there's gonna be a Jade Rabbit two, I believe. Look, on, look underneath the hood, made in China. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, why. That's why. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't don't kill me. <laughs> I think so anyway, I think this front wing thing. It's been talked about for a couple of weeks, but yeah. I would say they probably didn't bring it in to Monaco because uh, not every team changes their arrow for Monaco. But for Canada, basically yeah. every team's coming with a whole new wing package. So. Okay. Many things change because it's just because it's, it's I, we mentioned it before. Uh, there are so many differences. It, it's a drastically different track from Monaco. Right. Yeah, right. that's pretty, that was the, what I was going to ask. Yeah. It was very drastic. Uh, Mike, how long it, do you yeah. think the track in Montreal is? Like how long in terms of length? Uh, don't even ask me. Kilometers. That. I'm gonna to, to, okay, round it to the nearest kilometer. Say it. Three. No four. 
It's, it's a long. It's, it's a long one. It's pretty okay. long. It's pretty okay. long. It's pretty okay. long. Three and a third ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was four say and a third ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four, 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 four point three six one kilometers. Okay. So it's 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 nice it's and quite, long. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm sure you've seen a picture. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it up. Pull let's, it up. Let's, do let's do it. Yeah. It's um. It's actually here. Let me. Let me. I'll, I'll just. I'll send you this. Well, let me. I'll send you a link. Montreal Grand Prix. Before we you get know. super deep into Montreal here. Just peripherally related, I guess. Uh, Montreal announced that 2016, next year, they will be holding a f uh, Formula E Grand Prix. Oh, and yeah. And E Prix. But not, not, not the same and weekend. Not on, the, not on the same weekend and not on the same track. Oh, what? I, I believe bullshit. they're probably going to do a city track. I don't, think, I don't think the batteries could handle it. No. I don't know. I guess you probably don't know, anyth don't know anything about the Formula E, but they no, actually, really. halfway through the race, they go into the pits, get out of the car... Get in another car, strap back in, and then keep driving. They're, they're hoping, I guess, in a few years, uh, the single battery pack will do a whole race. But hey, just, if, if Elon Musk has anything to do with it, <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just not as they're just not as fast. Not I mean, it's not there. Formula E isn't there yet. That would be pretty badass if uh, well, Elon my, Musk I, entered a team into the Formula E. Oh my God. Why Tesla, they? how are they not? Are they a sponsor at all? No, in no, that? no, nothing. They're not, not in yet. yet. Oh, that's weird. I guess they're probably waiting to see how it goes. It's a smart man. Here you go. You got a map, track map. Look at that street party. Look at that. Oh, fuck. Look at that island. The third one at the top. Oh, my God. Any of those. They're all yeah. fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Yeah. This is. <laughs> And, and it's always watch. packed. It's always beautiful to see because everybody shows up, turns out in numbers. It's the city lights up. So wait, where bright. where will we be at? We'll be in many places. I know that, but I mean, <laughs> not here. It will be like uh, for the for race day. I think. Uh, are we thinking of doing um, uh, hairpin for race day? I think we so probably should. All the way out there, all the right way at the very yeah. tip over there, and then yeah. Uh, yeah. just. Uh, well, I'm gonna type in hairpin. Coming right here. See? Oh. Yeah, I saw that little. There, somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. Somewhere over here, just off the camera, to the right side. I would okay. <laughs> yeah, in one of the general admission areas. Oh, yeah, we're okay. doing GA this year. Yeah. Hey, if you're out there, if you go to Canada and you're doing GA, come say hi. You will not miss us. I promise you that. We have a Don't great... tell them why yet. No, yeah. no, I'm not. No. <laughs> we have a great surprise for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a secret for the listeners. It's a secret for gate security and whatnot. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Are we going to have problems with that? No. 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 They don't uh, give a shit? Come on, man. I don't know. I've never been to one of these things. It's true. It I've been to Montreal like once. Oh, oh yeah. Like Ten. Oh, hey, no, that, that's a good point. Hey, hey, nothing, we know. Nothing he but... doesn't know. I don't we know don't... what the, okay. the, the so, stick is. No, no, okay. All so, it requires is confidence. You just... I'm bringing this inside. Look but <laughs> but it's also... Okay, okay. You know how in most, most North American sporting events, yeah. uh, big or not... When you have to go to a stadium or wherever the venue is, yeah. they check, they check you, they fucking stick your their hand up your ass, see if you have anything in there. You right. know what I mean? Like, and I enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I learned this about Major League Baseball. The Rogers Stadium or whatever Sky Dome in Toronto here just installed metal detectors yeah. because the MLB mandated that any baseball game under their dome of control or whatever. Every single person walking inside has to go through a metal detector now. Wait, that's because there American. has never once been any sort of event at a baseball game, terrorism or whatever well, related. Looks like my I hate using that cock ring is going to set everything off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> they're plastic, so there they're you go. plastic. <laughs> they just wouldn't work. Yeah. No, but yeah, I. I we you, might have you, contributed to the metal detectors. Well, yeah, we, two we, of us got. We do sneak up. We do. Sneak well, it's probably this. nothing you should admit onto a podcast, but you know, <laughs> that's nothing criminal. We got kicked. We were in the very top, like in the five hundred. <laughs> we're having like, a knife fight, yeah, like row three hundred. <laughs> no, we just we sneak them booze. Oh, okay, booze. everyone does that. Yeah, everyone some does booze for one of the our kids, buddies there. Right? Yeah, we got escorted out by the police. Though. They didn't. Who did? Yeah, it? fucking Peter. Yeah, yeah. Peter. I didn't. Yeah, if you're listening, I wasn't going to say his name. Yeah. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm it not pretended him. so well to not know. Oh, they're not with us. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Peter. Yes, excuse me, officer. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was such a weird elevator ride. They took us down the elevator. Cause we were like walked. We got there. We walked up the ramp. Like, As everybody uh, does. Yeah, like hundred. They took us down the elevator. They're like, you're not allowed back. You can come back another day. Spend more money, but don't come back today. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been back. Since. But but anyway, yeah. So yeah. you know how you get like searched and whatnot. Yeah. No, to the to to the Grand Prix, and the, this is true for many Grand Prix out there. You're allowed to bring every anything you want, anything you want. Well, within reason. I mean, you're not allowed Especially to. Especially kind of like Montreal too, where it seems very much more relaxed. It's very liberal. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. Ontario here has some of the strictest liquor and beer laws and rules in the entire world. Probably. We can uh, wait. Can we drink in parks still? I can't remember. No, you can't. No. I mean, uh, I don't think you ever really could. It's, have, yeah, it's but sort no of, one gives a shit. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. But you you can't really by by the by the letter of the law you can't unless said park or outdoor space applies to a liquor license with the LCBO to set up a beer garden, but there has to be like a fence and there has to be security. Yeah, it's retarded. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. bureaucracy, man. Yeah. This yeah. is it's ruining this country. Yeah. <laughs> it's ruining the world, yeah, man. It's, it's ruining yeah. the world. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bunch of bullshit. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can bring anything. You, you to, to the Canadian Grand Prix, like you can because because you're expected to be there all day. And I think it would be very taxing to ask anybody to spend, you know, whatever, however much you spend on the ticket, plus then be expected to to, to buy the the really expensive concession stand food, uh, drink and water. No, think, that would be too much. Oh, I think attending sports in general though is pretty expensive. F1, like, you know, whatever. It's, it's You can do F1 on the cheap, and we will tell you how. Well, you probably know with hockey, yeah. mad expensive. Yeah. Hella expensive. Yeah, I've been to see UFC before. I was sat in the top then, too. I was about, like, the cheapest tickets was, like, 150-something bucks. Oh. I was planning to go see um, sort of a semi-pro MMA event, which is next. Bellator? This, this weekend. Last, no, not, not Bellator. Ba Battletoads? <laughs> <By bottle? laughs> Bellator is frogs. a spikes spikes competition to the UFC. Oh, okay. It's a different MMA. This is was in uh, Hamilton, but uh, so they had a bunch of GA tickets for thirty bucks, but mm -hmm. everything else was over well over a hundred up to the three hundred stand. It's standing is for suckers. <laughs> no, it's not even standing. You get a seat, but oh. whatever. It's just I'm just, my point is sports are expensive. Yeah. But yeah, these guys are nice enough to let us bring them beers. Yep, beers, food, food, all yeah. that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Could probably yeah. bring a barbecue. Uh, no propane, but coal, coal probably. You coal, could probably yeah. get away with coal. Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. That seems like a lot of work, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll keep it in my back. Wait. <laughs> oh, uh, we got to get like a either like a parasail or or um umbrella. Parasail. An umbrella. Yeah, I have one umbrella. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I'm I gonna get cooked in the sun. Yeah. yeah. If it's actually, did anybody care to look? I at the did. Weather. Actually. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> with our weather forecast for Montreal. <laughs> Pull up a radar. Uh, think, Pull up a radar. Okay, I think Saturday from I. I Just throw it up. Throw it up. Throw it up here. Yeah, it's good. Let, call. Everyone, let everyone see. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it affects the 50 of you that watch it on YouTube. Well, it, yeah. affect, it affects the viewers at home of the Grand Prix as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the rain. Yeah. You know. If they're if they're listening to. Uh, quick, quick, quick aside. What the Fuck, what is this in Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit? Suck my dick. Click here, click here, click the C. There we go. Yeah. But, but I got also really upset. <laughs> <laughs> Friday rain, Friday rain. All right, let's see what we got here. You need the long term because it's still too Wait, no, he wants the, he wants the radar. Uh, yeah. A bit down, further down. But look, look, look at our seven day. There you go, seven day forecast. Friday, 40% chance of precipitation. So maybe a little bit of rain. Less than five minutes. Okay, let's, let's, check, let's check the radar first. Hold on. Let's. Um, let's just see where things are at, <laughs> at the moment. Sorry, my computer's. A no, no, there it is. There it is. So yeah. So the thing is, if most of it is moving northeast, and there's nothing really brewing down here, that's usually where things start when we get a big storm in so Toronto. Is is our biggest thing here? Like this, this coming is, up? No, this is not. Oh gonna, no, wait. Well, Montreal's gonna Montreal's, Montreal's around like here. right here, right? Yeah, right there. Yeah. So this is all yeah. coming up the coast. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine. Like, there's a little bit of bullshit. But sometimes we get uh, the northern stuff that dips down. Okay. The Is it the westerlies? I think that goes west, though, right? Yeah. But uh, we do sometimes get stuff that comes like that. So, um, yeah. But it looks like it's going to be nice. So that, nice that, that's what that 40% is, is coming from. Otherwise, though, what, what are they going to be like the feels like temperature? So it feels, feels like, like feels like twenty eight. So hot. Ooh, fuck. Twenty and twenty six, crucially for for, for Sunday. So yeah, that's good. Beautiful. That, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. 
Oh, we just, uh, be so excited. Uh, Mike, actually, yeah. I, I, I was actually wondering if uh, we'll talk about this after, off camera, but uh, I was going to ask if you wanted to go in on like a, like a big umbrella. <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Absolutely. Okay, we'll yeah, no, it's going to be a thing. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. Speaking of rain, I guess, did, did you take that uh, fan survey? I guess not, eh? No, we tried to do it live. It yeah, was, it, it was, was it was too long. It was, it took too much of my time for me to care. Yeah, to man. Finish, but I still did. I still did, but. I did it if, watching FP1. It's fucking long, man. If, there's yeah. some dumb shit in there. If anything, they, they should have gone for, like, for, for. A shorter, more direct survey that would have gotten more people like in, in into action. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were about to do one, and then we stopped. Yeah, because it was it was too long. Exactly, we were gonna do that on air, and I'm sure that 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 happened with many fans. Many fans went out there uh, expecting something that was gonna take a minute, mm -hmm. and then like this thing took forever, man. I, I was just gonna say because of this rain thing, one of the questions in there like about spicing oh, yeah. up the show. Uh, there was a few about spicing up the show, like what you'd like to see, like reverse grids was one suggestion. Like do you qualify first, whoever, whatever. They just rever after qualifying, they just flip everybody around. Yeah, that's just stupid. So you put the like... slower cars at the front. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's the stupidest fucking thing I heard. I thought it was like go backwards systems. on the track instead. <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> that seems fucking reasonable. To me. <laughs> reverse no, grids was or reverse grids was one, and. Uh, Sprinklers, sprinklers, sprinkler systems. Like yeah, put, put just sprinklers randomly... just off the track. Mm, I think it should rain now. <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah, yeah. Start spraying water on the track, and everyone has to change tires. <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure if you guys are in love with the idea. <laughs> no, or or right. it's stupid. No. It's the stupidest thing oh, I've ever heard. Damn it! I love that. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I thought it was like for the fans, so hey, they you, have like you... like a like a zone where they just kind of oh the sprinkler zone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's like Wonderland. Wonderland has those. Oh, ones. yeah, yeah, yeah. The mist thing is the amazing. Mist, uh, it's like it has a really cool name that, <laughs> yeah. that I wish I'm going to name my dog it yeah. one, one day. You have to go back to Wonderland first to find out. Yeah. Oh, I, I've, since I was a kid, I wanted that thing in my backyard. <laughs> my, my house. Who, who does the mist shower? Miss you the whole time. Oh, it's man. fantastic. A shower like that? A shower head that could mist? Oh, my God. That would be amazing. <sighs> but you spend like an hour shower. Well, you already spend like I hours do. showering. When I was a kid, my, uh, a friend of mine, his mom bought broken like Broken the world record of showers. Air mist stuff. Like it was an aerosol can of just like mist, mist. water. And I, just, I remember she's like, oh, try this out. I was like, cool. It's like, oh, that was awesome. And then like I went in, <laughs> I snuck in and stole it and just used the whole thing <laughs> on my face. I was like, and it was hot as fuck. There was no AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, just sitting <laughs> fat, just <laughs> eating grapes. Just like, mm. In Spain, because it gets really fucking hot, uh, I, I, just pretty much all around the major cities, like they just, they'll have that, like just hanging from like. Uh, lampos and shit. Just oh, that's nice. they'll, yeah. They'll just have like misters around. Just it's fucking hot there. <laughs> and as you found out, the survey itself was discouragement. Yeah, in and of itself. Yeah, <laughs> you'd really think discouragement I, I already, to get you to stop. But hey. I took I just I took some screenshots here quickly. Uh, as you get so I'm into, into part four here. Carlos signs. He's fa just a, just a screen from my a screenshot from my phone. He says, uh, "You're doing a fantastic job. Keep let's keep oh, it up." And then you you go a few more questions, a few pages deeper. Like this thing took me like pictures. more than twenty minutes, man. I was I was watching F1 at the time, but yeah. and then uh, here's another one. We're getting close to the finish. Stay with it now. This is excellent. Oh, oh, this is uh, Perez. Perez says that. Uh, yeah, I got. Oh, whatever. Or at least they'd like you to believe that these drivers say that. Yeah, they, they didn't say this at all. They just took their photos or whatever. Here, another one. The checkered flag is in sight. One last push when you're on the last group of questions. <laughs> what am I, pregnant? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one last push. You can do it. This is at 84%. And like every time you go next, next page, you yeah. jump up 1% to 3%. <laughs> there were like 30 pages, man. Yeah, man 30 or 40 crazy. pages. Holy shit. Yeah, it was fucking You know, one thing I didn't like much. about the, the survey is that... <clears throat> It, it, some of it was very ambiguous in in the sense, oh, yeah. in the sense that it didn't um, it didn't account for. They were trying to account for all the different possibilities, but they didn't really. They missed a crucial point, and it's they 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 missed the cord cutters, like like I am, like you are, like like you are. Yeah. There, there, there's absolutely no room in that in that survey for cord cutters. 
An example is okay. <coughs> Cord cutters. <coughs> you know, you look, yep. you look confused. Yep. Yeah, people, uh, people, like people, like people, 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 people that don't have like Netflixers uh, and people who just don't have cable TV. Or, oh, yeah, okay. Right. Satellite feed connection. Oh, cord cutters. Yeah, yeah you're not, pay, I, you're not I was paying. talking about like babies <laughs> and, like, cutting the cord. This or, is a modern terminology for okay. uh, people who just Muggles. shunning the TV system, <laughs> which is a lot of people, and and yeah. I'm sure that yeah, a big a big chunk of the percentage of. Uh, TV viewership that 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 has declined in F1, mm -hmm. you see that across all sports, because people are just not watching TV. And actually, an Experian uh, report, Experian is a marketing uh, services consulting mm -hmm. firm, um, a couple that came out a couple years ago. Even a couple years ago, already, like the the the, the decline of network TV subscribership has fallen drastically right drastically since things like since alternatives like uh netflix but even before netflix since yeah. youtube yeah actually. really since youtube well i'd even say like podcasts and stuff yeah like that. Oh, oh yeah because i mean us us we are yeah we are. Yeah. yeah we're contributing to we this. are the new breed yeah <laughs> oh no i just remembered something what but it's too late okay next time next yeah. time okay Shit. yeah but, <laughs> but anyway, okay. So let me put you an example. Let me give you an example before I <laughs> switch that. Um, and I already complained to, uh, to uh, about this to you. But so at some point in the survey, it says like you know, uh, where do you watch like your F one? Like do, like you know like where where do you watch your F one? Do you watch it like on a TV, on a, on on your laptop, or like in your your mobile or your tablet? And I watch it on a TV. Mm -hmm. But the TV is not hooked to cable, right? So, but 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 I I you know it, you understood I, it, that, yeah. Well, no. In answering the question, I was like, well, I, I actually big. watch it on the TV, so mm -hmm. I clicked the TV. I didn't think it was gonna have any repercussions. But then later, there was a question that was basically like, since you answered that you watch uh, F1 on TV, and then it proceeded to ask me some questions about my cable plan. And I was like, I don't oh, have oh. cable. And there was no option there for I don't have cable. So they're still missing the point. There's people out there like us that actually watch F1 with full quality, mm -hmm. but we just don't have cable. This uh, We just have to change the name of what we call this thing over here. Yeah. Right. yeah. What we call right. a television. Right. It's not really uh, a television it's a flat anymore. Screen, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they, that's. That's how it should have been worded. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I picked a laptop in there, but then they're uh, yeah I don't know they're they're asking me questions about like uh, online services I subscribe to and things mm. like that. Yeah, oh, man, I'm stealing it because you guys are dumbasses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I've said oh a million God. times. We talked about this <laughs> oh, between ourselves time? three yeah, or four time. years ago already. Like oh, yeah. we're just okay. when we were talking so about this, I, I pay ten bucks. I've always had an easy. idea about how to sort of tackle that problem. Okay, so. An idea I was having is that if if you say release it for free, okay, for instance, you'll obviously get no money from subscriptions. No one will buy it because you've made it free. Right. However, it'll reach twice at least as many people. No, no? astronomically more. Astro that's even better. Yeah, yeah it's so more than twice. the the people who are um, advertising on your platform should be paying you more. For that, because take, it take it, an ex more. take it an extra level, use dynamic overlaid location based advertising on a free F1 stream oh that has God. the commentary, so that you can put say on the blank spaces on the screen where they're going around a corner that has nothing in it, just overlay digitally Boom. a location based advertising that people will pay regionally. So at that point, you Holy don't have shit. you don't have to worry you don't have to worry about uh, selling like an ad space of uh, on the side of the track for ten million dollars to a multinational comp corporation that can that can actually afford it, but rather you can you can just sell to a local mom and pop shop for like you know what what, what the Google model yeah. apply the Google model to this yeah, yeah don't Jay, yeah you said th you that, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life you know what I mean and they should do that with uh, with every single sport put it out there for free get your audiences because I'm sure that every sport out there caters to somebody in the world that hasn't seen it mm -hmm. you know what i mean like there, there there's a group of people over uh, in fucking eastern ukraine right now that i'm sure would be perfect fans of um 
just you name it, fucking uh, uh, dish soap, uh, you, or, 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 or you know, or uh, fucking what is the sport that they play here, lacrosse? Sure. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. there's probably like a, a very captive audience for lacrosse somewhere in eastern Ukraine that they're not tapping because simply the TV companies couldn't be bothered because it's because it doesn't make sense in terms of mass market. Right. But if you step away from the national mass markets and consider that right now we're all living in a country that is the internet, you know what I mean. And as long as you have access to the internet, you can have access to. Like your 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 biggest market then is in China. Your biggest market is in the U.S. Your biggest market is the world at large. Then you can cater to say if if you get you know ten percent of that market, that's huge numbers, yeah. man. I'm fucking going over this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. You, you, that's so. Bernie doesn't it seems, get it though. Doesn't like get it. it's yeah. so fucking reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. But we were plagued to be born in the '80s. <laughs> that's our problem yeah i guess so. i don't know man and Bernie, <laughs> they're, they're cha it, it is changing times and i'm sure like within within our lifetimes we will see eventually oh, because it's gonna be sooner than that it'll well, be another year or two they'll catch be, on but yeah because these models like hanging on to cable television and 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 and, and to to the national broadcasters is currently is unsustainable it just it will not no, last it will it will not die. last yeah so it, we will see it within our lifetime. It's just it. I would rather it come sooner than later because it's really, really cramping my style. Yeah, <laughs> you know like, what I mean. Well, because I want to watch this shit for free, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Do we do we got anything else about Monaco, or can we jump into the Canadian Grand Prix yet? I thought we've been talking about it. Yeah, we okay, kind of have been. That's true. That's true. Uh, well, you want to make it a fish. Another thing that cha that has that is going to change for the Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, coming up is the engines. People are talking about bringing new engines, and actually, tokens, 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 tokens have been ah, spent. Yes. <laughs> I've heard some Yo, mixed and conflicting reports here. Let's see what you got here. Yeah. Since, okay. So I'll be right back. You'll be right back. You just fucking introduced the fucking yeah, You can't segment. leave yet. You piece of I shit. I won't be right back. <laughs> no, Craig Scarborough. Ex explain what Scarborough's talking about here. Well, Scarbs. Scarbs have won. Scarbs. If, if, if you guys don't follow him on Twitter, or or uh, you should. And and he, and and he, I think he has a, a blog. Uh, yeah, he does have a blog. Uh, he's also a. Um, he, he comes on on uh, Peter Windsor's channel. So if if you don't have Peter Windsor channel, Peter Windsor's channel on your YouTube, add it now. If you are into Twitter, follow this guy. Is at Scarbs of One. He's um, he's he's a reporter, but he's independent. He does he's not affiliated to any particular uh, publication. That's the way I like him. Yeah, and he's he's very technical. He's he, he always yeah, talks about like some. It, if you go to this guy's blog, some oh of the drawings and animations he does, he's, it's this intense. This guy spends his life on this shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's Scarves, man. It's, it's fucking awesome. And it, it, he it, knows it, AutoCAD and gets like oh fuck. Really, like this is how something's working and why. Yeah. And right into like the deep details of. You oh, can tell Jesus. the guy understands. Like, yeah. He, like he must. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know his full CV, but he must. He must have been like. It's very European of you to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he, he must have been, you know, something. He must yeah. he must have been some sort of mechanic at some point or or, or engineer or something. I don't know. He, he has that kind of mind. And he, but he also follows, like, he's been following the tokens. That, um, so Mercedes spent some tokens. Right now they only have seven left uh, from, what, the nine that they had available? So they, they would have spent some tokens there. Wait, what? Right, so it's just say it. Mer oh. Mercedes retained seven tokens, right? But they're not bringing upgraded engines to Canada, are they? Yes, they are. Mercedes? Well, I don't know about Mercedes. I don't think Mercedes is. I think they're bringing new engines. Mercedes new, new engines, right. Mercedes right. Mercedes, Mercedes proper team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the Mercedes works team is bringing, like, new engines. Right. Um, they've, been ru they've been running the first races so far, six of them, on one engine each. It's amazing. I saw today they did... Uh, about four thousand kilometers per car. That's awesome. On those two engines, which they is are fucking unstoppable. Insane. These Mercedes, Ferrari, and Honda both spent some tokens, so right. Um, Honda is bringing that their new engine, but right. new like they spent two with with spent. So yeah, so uh, Craig Scarborough says that it could be a turbo compressor or MGUH. Right now. So far, Honda has had problems with what? 
reliability in what shape? Um, they're, they're all kinds, yeah. right? Mostly yeah, with the know. the MGU though. Exactly. I think then heat problems. They, it's overheating because they've they've gone for that aggressive packaging. Yeah, the right. tight, tight, tight. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. Tight. So and if it, I think that that's very credible. The 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 either the okay the combustion yeah that would make just so getting the heat out of the out of the car, or um, or or the the what's it called uh sorry no the the, the they said either turbo uh, for for Honda. It's going to be either turbo compressor or MGUH. I think that it's probably going to be MGUH because that is probably what, where they've been losing some heat onto the tra onto the car and and overheating the engines, and that's what they've had some problem like engines blowing up and whatnot. So I think that that makes sense, and it only takes two tokens. What Ferrari have done though, apparently if Craig Scarborough thinks that it's that they've done some some in, uh, some changes to the actual combustion chambers and shit. Right, and uh, no, not the combustion chamber. This is saying the top end, which would be the head. Okay. So I think the combustion upgrade, but I think more like valve, spark plugs, the okay. top end, the head. Oh, well, that's what he's saying here. Because I think the pistons changing. I remember when we, back months ago, when we went through the whole crazy list of how many tokens each thing is. I think pistons was a, a big one. It was like four or five tokens or that's something true, to yeah. change your pistons. Like you're stuck with your pistons, that's basically. True. So I think it's the head. They're okay. going to change some stuff with their head. But I've seen reports both ways. Ferrari spent them. They've made the upgrades. But from what Arriva Bene said, they'll have new engines, but not the upgraded ones. Not the upgraded ones. Yeah. From so what Arriva Bene so said. So they're confident with the power output that those engines have had? But I saw this afternoon. Uh, the only reason why Mercedes. I say that is because Montreal is a power-hungry track. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, sure. that's why, but I think Arriva Bene said that they've pretty much decided they're not going to have it in Canada. So if they're not going to have it in Canada... not want to say anything. He said, don't ask me any more questions because I don't want the Germans to find out what we're doing. <laughs> so, okay, so if they're not bringing new engines to Canada and they've done... They might be bringing new ones, but I don't think they're bringing the, the new the ones. The new one. Yeah, if they're not bringing the new one with the, all the updates. The updated to, ones, upgraded. The upgraded one to Canada, and the upgraded one to Canada most likely has... Uh, you know, like whatever you said, new new spark plugs or new, you know, however the top end of the of the combustion works, then they're not looking to get a power advantage from that. They're probably looking to get something else from that, from that new upgrade. Maybe yeah. maybe maybe power the way that it delivers the power on like for for slow corners because you know you know how they were yeah. they were the ones that were rumored to be like tinkering around with the with the pressure right with the with the fuel the flow pressure. pressure so maybe that might have screwed up what they were the yeah, engine was doing maybe that's what the fix is maybe the fix is not necessarily the top end of power but rather how the engine delivers the power out just outside the corner uh what i think he's saying here by the engine's top end is i don't think he means the top of the rpm I think he's talking about the engine head. No, no, yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the the top, the the the, the top part versus the bottom part. Yeah. No, no, but uh, yeah. So, so I'm saying, if they're not bringing this brand it's new head upgraded in, head engine, head in the block, right? Like the, the head of the block. The real terms. So if they're if they're making changes there, but they're not bringing those changes to Montreal, it's probably because they're not making any uh, top range power modifications but rather how the engine delivers the power mid-range that's the sort of push that you need to get out of the corners right yeah i don't know man it's it's so there's so what, they're kind of quiet what, i guess what we're could gonna you do find there? out i don't know yeah we'll find out i guess i guess we're gonna probably fi find out more on the weekend but I don't, I don't know what they could do. Let's, Not, let's try to talk to the Italians. <laughs> when, no, no, seriously, let's try to talk to, to Ferrari when, when we go there for open track day. Yeah, for sure. How's your guys French? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I, oh, actually, on, on my way you here... You don't need French for Montreal. On my way here, I saw a guy reading an in, uh, like some sort of jazz interview on the subway in French. And yeah. he was going through a dictionary and writing words and he's studying his French. I don't know what he was doing, though, because mine's terrible. I don't know. I think I think I think we we like we're fine with our French in Montreal. Yeah. Hey, if you're an American or anywhere from Canada and you're thinking of coming to the Canadian Grand Prix and you're you're scared about the French, don't be. Yeah, you can go. I was. You I can go almost I anywhere am. in the world. Everybody, somebody's gonna speak English. Yeah, they will speak English. The, I watched Earth, a, lang a, Earth language. Uh, I watched a video 
online like four months ago <laughs> and it was like these people it was like in montreal and these people in uh these people these french people were just livid with like a bunch of english speakers and i was just like i don't want to ever go there <laughs> they, they they tend to I'm be assholes if you well, yeah. i mean sure if, i mean if you're there for another occasion though like if you if you're there for like i don't know like just but this is going to be a very tourist driven weekend mm. and they are expecting a lot of americans and a lot of people from english canada mm -hmm. so i think i think concessions are made people are a little bit more open but if it was like just a random day when nothing's going on or or actually on the other end uh in august the montreal jazz festival yeah, yeah you will expect a different kind of treatment like people like mm -hmm. quebecers can't be assholes right <laughs> Yeah. If especially it's it's an irrational hatred. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that this happens in many other par parts of the world, uh, right. um, where you kind of hate your neighbors and whatnot. And if you if you tell somebody in Montreal that you're from the states, they'll probably treat you better than if you said that you're from Ontario. I believe that. Yeah, I don't know why, but I believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't get it. I've I've been to Montreal a bunch of times yeah. now. I've never really experienced it, but a little bit. Is this Somebody's Sorry. calling your phone. Jesus. I, I honestly, Honda, I hope they haven't changed the sound because I can't wait to hear that. Like, <laughs> it sounds like, like, yeah, it's like that. It's like they pour in gas and then they add a bunch of gravel in it. <laughs> or kitty litter. <laughs> yeah, like, so yeah kitty a bunch litter. of kitty litter flying through the piston. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It's like very, it's like a grinding noise for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's very grindy. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I want to hear that. I don't know. I think for Ferrari's like, they've obviously finalized this. This is what they're doing, but I don't know. And uh, one other thing, actually, that I saw this week, uh, I can't remember now if it started in Monaco or if it started after Monaco. At the end of the race came into effect. There's another FIA rule. Is that uh, some teams have been doing upgrades through the year so far under the guise of reliability, safety, and what's the third one? Oh, yeah. Uh, perf uh, Don't look at me, man. Definitely not performance. No, no, no. Reliability, safety. Maybe that's the two. So for yeah, reliability safety and safety is concerned, somebody's yelling at their headphones right now, I guess. But, yeah. uh, you can change certain things, but I guess teams have just been doing it uh, willy-nilly, just doing it. And uh, the FIA said, you you got two half beers, good? I do. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Double fist him. Okay. This, uh, He's doing it. He's doing it. He, he did the lean back. <laughs> oh, my God. There he goes. Two beers at once. Check it out on YouTube. There's a new rule <laughs> that the FIA, I believe, requires eight days of written notice before implementing any of these changes. Even non-token changes that you would say are for reliability or safety oh shit. and Bullshit. and some sort of a written explanation as to how and why those changes are required and will cause the safety or reliability changes that you're expecting them to jesus kind of makes sense i guess yeah. oh yeah. yeah yeah you have to be able to like justify why yeah yeah so i don't know i think uh who the hell says Willy Nelly anymore, though, Danny? That's uh, I just did. <laughs> I just said it. That's a great point, Jeff. I just said it. Um, uh, Montreal, though. Yeah. We. Oui. It's yeah. We. Oui. <laughs> where? We. Oui. Uh, you know, they're French Canadians, so they go more like where. Uh, they do. They do. They say where. Um, <laughs> seriously. Um, what what else is gonna be different about Montreal this year? This year, this year, not a whole lot. This is another interesting thing I've uh, learned today. Who who won Montreal last year? Uh, it was uh, Ricciardo. Danny Rick. Yeah, he won. But won reliability issues. This uh, uh, Mercedes especially is like, all right, we need new engines because they had a lot of problems last year with both cars. Yeah, they had like Rosberg was just like nursing his car to the end. Probably because it's been the engines have just undergone like a massive strain at the low end in Monaco. Yeah. Now you're putting them through a massive strain on the top end of the revs in, 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 in Montreal. Yeah. Something's gonna crack. Many I think I'm I think the, the Renault engines are not gonna have a chance this year. Not like last year. I'll, and, 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 and and a lot of uh people are saying that oh maybe 
Uh, maybe maybe Daniel Ricardo is gonna have another chance. If you're that no. hopeful, like you're, you you you've all you've <laughs> lost all touch with reality. Seriously, That's no. What, it's what, it's gonna be a Rosberg, uh, Lewis, or Vettel sort of. If Mercedes is showing up with brand new engines, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's yeah. gonna be one of the two Mercedes, unless something crazy happens. Right. Before I continue about my changes that I know about, <laughs> have either of you guys heard of this Periscope business? I've started to hear it, but I don't know what the fuck it is. Look, we're on Periscope, Periscope right now. Wait. Uh, anyway, this is up, I, it's up on our Twitter right now. I guess anyone that's following us on Twitter, well, okay. just got a notification. What is this? Periscope is a um, I don't understand. It's a new company which is powered by Twitter, but I'm okay. not exactly sure. If well, is, is, Twitter is, that, is that on your phone right now? Going straight to the internet live, to the public live. Nice. Live. Whoa! Anyone in the world could be watching us right now. Hey. You? Except nobody is. There's zero zero viewers right now. Uh, <laughs> Do you let people it, know next, next is time. It, is it stored for Free later tweet? watching? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I think it's live and then it disappears. Okay. Forever. Ah, Periscope. Okay. So periscoping right I now. I got it. A Periscope. So basically, like, if you have tw- if anyone has Twitter, you want to Periscope yourself. You just download the app, Android, iOS, whatever. That's fucking crazy. Install it. Sign in. No, no Windows sign phone, in though. Twitter Fuck you, me. Windows phone users. <laughs> yeah. None of those. Shut the n- fuck up. Nokia's can. Uh... <laughs> My battery lasts two and a half days. You guys can suck. Dicks. That's because you can't do anything with your phone that would kill the battery. <laughs> it, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> put his head down. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're periscoping right, right now. You just press boom, periscope. You go. I was checking out on the, the, on, on the website you through go. your you got, laptop. You're going to need juice for that, trust me. Okay. Through the, through the, uh, through the website. If you want to do the Periscope business, like check it out, like watch Periscopes. There's a whole public list. I was watching a a Who concert in Britain the other day. Like some dudes in the audience, like Periscope, (laughs) Periscope. Yeah, I saw. I saw some other band. I saw some dude just in his living room, like giving his dog treats. (laughs) People are just Periscoping it up. It's it's it's, 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 a, it's a great thing of, of the internet. I mean, yeah. the, I think I think it was uh, Donald Trump or something has been misquoted saying, uh, <laughs> "If you build it, they will they will come." And on the internet nowadays, if you put it up, if you put up a video stream on the yeah. internet, people will watch it eventually. Yeah. It's like, like, look at us. We're at, you can just flip that camera around. But for some reason, Periscope only works vertical, which I think personally is retarded. It's really dumb. Mm, it's, I'm sure they'll eventually fix it. Uh, I hope so. You can turn it sideways, but if anyone's watching, you're sideways right now. Oh, okay, tilt oh. your head. But anyways, what, <laughs> whatever. Periscope is Periscope. You can give, really you can give people hearts if you really like them, and then like hearts are floating up on their screen. Oh, that's adorable. Com- they send comments. Yeah. So 2014, I guess at the after the race, uh, Montreal signed a 10-year contract. 10 years with uh, C- that's what, CVC. That's what I wanted. To, that's what I really wanted to get to. So this is kind of weird to me. Is that the, well, the you've, been, you've been you've been kind of following that more than I have, but they've apparently like now re- uh, released like deadlines of when they're expecting the new buildings to be built. Yeah, but the reason why is kind of dumb. So, so the dude at work that I told you about last week, who follows F one, he said that uh, they're now like ready to spend one hundred thirty five million dollars to improve their facilities. But uh, from what I heard, the only Big thing money. the only thing I've heard officially is that the federal government has pitched in forty million to the the cause i guess so but what the fia wants especially after i think this came up actually after um the accident with uh with jules Jules bianchi Bianchi, yeah is that all the truck because they had to throw him in a helicopter and fly him like 40 minutes away or whatever to the city to the hospital Mm -hmm. is they want a medical facility on site right and then so the pit facility is also in Montreal, they're old. They're small. They're old. They, they complain about their people complain that they're too, too small. cramped. They're cramped up. Yeah, they're from a long time ago. Before mm-hmm. all these, uh, what did you call this? Flat screens. Flat screen. Yeah. Sure. Televisions. Tele- back tele- when they, they made back when they had televisions. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what else they're planning to build, but the, I think the idea was that they were supposed to have started already, mm-hmm. and it was supposed to be done, but. Apparently, the city has looked looked into the contract. So that island kind of was developed around the Expo 67. Right. Oh, okay. 
1967, Montreal had a whole bunch of the whole world, I guess, came to see Montreal. They built that dome that well, you see. They, they, but back, back in the old timey grandpa days, uh, they, they used to have world expos, and every year was a different, right. a different country and a Before different, different city. Right, and like it, you, you just brought like you go, your wares and products from far flung lands and expose them to the world. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess the city, the province, and whatever in partnership, the federal government signed this contract, and then realized. Oh shit! We have another contract with, about these Expo 67 buildings that they're not allowed to be touched for 50 years. So it was Expo 67 that they held there. Oh 2017 is when they're gonna have this stuff ready. Right, exactly uh, because of that. Yeah. Just so nothing happens in ridiculous. them. Ridiculous. Um, I think there's there's stuff like a um, convention center type of thing, like uh, okay. the, like. But nothing there's, like exciting. That. There's some sort of like uh like a uh, well, I mean. If you go to the Il this Il Saint Helene, I think it's called the actual island, uh, Parc Jean Drapeau is the, the, the institution is, that operates it. Right. If you go to the Parc Jean Drapeau uh, on a regular day that's non F one, there's like a there's a there's a conservatory of wildflowers there. There's, oh right, yeah, yeah it's you know a what I mean, greenhouse type of thing. Yeah. So, so some things, none of that really affects the F one except for the pits. Which they're gonna build a med medical facility, probably a two mm. or three story pits, like you see with some right. wavy glass and crazy shit on it, laser beams, things like that. But I don't, I don't, I think there's maybe a few parts that need to well, be that, re repaved that, that, of the that, track. That geodesic dome is also there. They're gonna the... knock it down? No, they're not gonna knock it down. But that that was from Expo sixty seven, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. But that has nothing. That's yeah. That has nothing to do with F F one or the new facilities they're gonna build. Right. So I think there's gonna probably be a pre press facility, something like that. Where they can modern, like tweet out and uh, watch the race on TVs and things. I, other than that, I can't think of what else they would be doing there. But I hope they bring a couple. Maybe they're not going to be digging any more subways, but a few more dump trucks full of dirt and just make hills. Yeah, pile them up make around hills. the sides of the track. Because for GA, anyone that's going, it's not the best. You got to get there early if you want to get up to the fence. And uh, there's sort of a hill by where we were last year by the hairpin, but the grandstands are. The people that really paid to be there. The yeah. grandstands are built so close to the track that it blocks a lot of the corner that you can see really from the GA area. So I don't know. I hope they improve that. Well, Montreal, and 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 I think that the Circuit Gilles de Villeneuve, Montreal, um, has a lot of areas that are completely untapped for 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 GA admission. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there's yeah. you can't even get there. There's not even yeah. a walking path. It's like, well, during the day okay. during the year well, there is actually, but there's fences. You weren't you weren't here for that, but when uh, you listen to it. So when we were talking to the uh five, five lights guys. What's up dudes? Yeah. Um they said that uh, our, for the British Grand Prix like uh, around Silver Silverstone you can go, like with yeah. apparently their GA goes all you can around walk all the way around the whole track you can't do that in Montreal let's, let's no. put it out there you can't do that at all in places like Monaco I don't want to give away our idea no no that's no, not next year we're doing it <laughs> I guess this year or not next year we're doing it <laughs> we're going to get where you can't go yes are we already Which, doing that we no, no. We, well Every year by year, maybe steps. We're pushing the boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. But but G we're gonna do it next year because 2017 they might open that up and then we're gonna be standing in a crowd again. Yeah. <laughs> GA though, GA G GA in Montreal, G General Mission Montreal is pretty good though. Yeah, I would say that it's pretty good compared to many other tracks and compared yeah, to. You can't complain. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm but a lot of a, bit, of a lot of people still do, and and, and and this is one thing that I that I've noticed on on Reddit, like people uh, post threads being like, "Hey, I'm thinking of going to Montreal, but I can only really afford G uh, General Mission." Like. <clears throat> is it worth it? And like, it immediately gets downvoted, and it immediately like a lot of people will go like, no, don't worry, like, like don't bother, like you have to show up so early. You don't have to show up so early. I mean, yeah. really, it's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you doing all day in anyways? If, if, yeah, you pay if you, for the ticket, get down to the track, and yeah. enjoy the day. It's gonna That's be it. sunny. There's a lot of other races to see. There's a lot of stuff going on there too. I mean, if you attractions, and if you've joined an F1 subreddit and you admirably follow it. Yeah, you're gonna want to go. Like you're you're gonna want to like uh, check it out. Like for me, it's my first time, but I mean, like it's gonna be fucking super sick. This is my third time. I still want to check it out. Really? Yeah, of course. Oh there's all there's all kinds of stuff to see there. They yeah. got all kinds of booths and 
I think uh, I think for next year the the flat out fever podcast should should go overseas. Overseas or I'm somewhere down. or yeah. somewhere. I'd be so fucking down for that. There's th- well, there's three races on this continent. Speaking of my uh, Mexico. Oh shit! They're almost done building that track. A lot. Speaking of upgrades, too. Oh really? Um, is there is there a Mexico Grand Prix? This year there is. It's the first time in I think 23 years that there has not been one. But they're sort of, they're sort of repaving and uh, changing the track a lot, which oh, a lot see. of people okay. aren't happy about. But compared to modern standards, it was really unsafe. You went really fast, really close to walls. They put okay. the, they put the tickets on sale last week or the week before. And certain sections sold out in three, four, five minutes. Ah. So the, the whole thing is sold out, though. What is? In Mexico. Oh, yeah. Mexico is done. Yeah, Holy it's, shit. That's another race, too, though, that is, I think, going to be, if they keep it up, which I think they will, that it, it'll keep going. This is the first year. It's like, oh, it's back. Everyone wants to go see. Curious. But I think it's a gigantic city with a gigantic population. I have it, I, with a track inside the city, too. I, I, I wasn't alive or into F1 when they, when they raised their last. But I feel like I it was like twenty. I don't know, we were like four years old or something. I feel like I, I'm going to miss the Peralta. Yeah, man. <laughs> what, Peralta, what, 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 whatever that dumb Will Buxton was trying to say. Per, Peralta. Delta? Oh, per, Peral the Peral Delta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will, Will Buxton. Oh, what is a Peradelta? <laughs> something that doesn't exist. Not, not least in Mexico. Really, I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, this giant half moon corner that was called the Peralta. Ah, uh, oh, that, I. Re- I think I remember that from our look into the tracks, okay, actually. Very good. Yeah, we talked about it. It was a big it. one, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, big we talked about it a bit. Very a NASCAR. Big corner. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very much like that, but flat. Mm. It wasn't banked up like that. Well, it was banked up. Was yeah, it? but not, 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 not a lot. Like a, not, not like a, a NASCAR lot. track. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not like a big, like a 45. Right. But anyways, they cut half of it off. So it's like a half of... It's a... Now it looks more like a step, and then... It's only the second half, so it's just a Altada now. <laughs> yes, and it's, a, it's an Altada. The, the peril part, they kind of just turned it into an L and built a whole bunch of giant grandstands around it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well said. I like that. <laughs> Who the fuck is this, by the way? You have a Phillips American screwdriver in your pen box over here. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Get rid of it. I don't know. It's not even mine. Really? What's wrong with it? it IKEA uses it. That's all my furniture. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have the Red Robertson right there as well. Yeah, so I, I closer, represent both sides. Closer to you, yeah, you feel it. Yeah, yeah. it's a toothbrush. There you go. I got, <laughs> I got a toothbrush in here. You guys should see what's in this fuck. Actually, they can see. I saw it because I got this. I stole this pencil from you. Yeah, <laughs> I just got it. Energized pencil. This is a good pencil. I want yeah. you to. I oh, want great. you to show something. I want you to show yeah. this. You're standing, so it's gotta be important. Oh man, yeah. I saw I saw the headline for this, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll wait to see them. But you now I've seen them. Those are badass. What they are? Are they? Those are the trophies for this year, starting with first place. This one, the big yeah, one, the giant oh, ass one over there, constructors champion. So they will give Ooh. it to uh, the team of the first place winner, right. second place, and third place. Oh, these are, wait, sorry, all these, construction or. No, no, uh, the, the, the first place trophy is this one, the biggest one. Right. This one that's almost as big is for the for the constructor. So ah, the team okay. of the person that won first place gets okay. gets a trophy too. And then the second place and third place over there. But these are for the players, not the constructors. Right? No, you're right, yes. The second, oh, second or third are, okay. are for the drivers. The drivers. The pilots. <laughs> yes, the will. pilots, if you will. Honestly, those are some of the best ones I've this seen. This is a cool trophy. I think a lot of cities and... I'm like... Uh, it, mm-hmm. Well, it, the shape of it is the track. It's the track. That's why it's cool. Oh, is this for Montreal? Yeah, for the Montreal Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah. yeah these are going to be the trophies that are going to be awarded this weekend. Oh, man. Yeah. So Did silly. you just ejaculate? <laughs> I, just, I, I just had, I feel like I sinned and then I forgave myself. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Right? A lot yeah, of well, it, When you look at it in that light, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they made cups out of the outline of the track. They, I, this is cool, right? That, there's there's been say? other ones that are the outline of whatever track, but not like well, this is a. Monaco is, is always badass. the outline, or recently has always been the outline of their track right but not like this look at the the first place man it's the size of that dude's torso it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a big ass trophy yeah that's that's is awesome. it a designer 
Probably, yeah, yeah, that guy, yeah, that guy, that guy may, may came up with this. If you watch every race, they're sort of like customized. They're usually pretty badass. Some right. of them are just like it's like a glass bowl you get, or right. like, kind those of looks like a tire. I'm done with those. For for Australia, well, it, it's it's like a big plate, but it's it looks like a steering wheel or something, right? Ew. Like, yeah, I don't know. Can't I don't even know exactly. Um, and then there's a few tracks in Europe that are sponsored by um, Santander, is a bank in Europe, and, right? And, and they all look the same. And actually, a few years ago, they all looked exactly the same, but um, on the side of it, they had the flag of the country to differentiate it. And those look kind of cool, especially the, that Germany one, right? So it was a silver, the center, their logo, uh, in sil like silver, but then if you turn it off to the side, the profile of it had the, the flag of Germany or whatever. And that that look uh, that look pretty that. cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now the the, the Santander trophies, I I don't think I don't think they're that cool. And last year they were that plastic wobbly thing. Remember, like I the plastic think... wobbly trophies from last year. I don't remember. They were yeah, yeah Santander. There's few that I specifically remember, but this one, oh, well, that's badass. Yeah. That's yeah. Really cool. they, yeah. Uh, that's definitely. Very if cool. if you know what's going on there, you you look at it and you're like, that's that's a sick trophy. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. Yeah, it, uh, I just had something I was gonna say and it slipped away. Brain farted. It's the tip brain of your shit time. your pants. Yeah. Slipped I away. No, I didn't shit my pants. No, I mean brain shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> now, Danny, you're yes. way better at this than I am. But what? Let's take a look at a lap around the track. All right. As in, like, as in, let's let's. We got this loaded up still. Hey, wait, no, we can't show that though. Why not? We can't show that. It's in daily motion. You can't show videos from other websites? No. What? In this okay in this particular occasion we can't. What? Because it's, it's daily motion. Can't. Okay. Try see if you can pull this up quick. Like YouTube uh onboard Montreal lap Formula One. There's gotta be one. But yeah, let's Montreal. let's let's take a lap around for sure. Uh there you go. A Vita Antonio Liuzzi, remember that guy? <laughs> We're not gonna get one, I guess. With the, this looks official. If you can show this. We're not gonna get one with the new. <laughs> there we go. Here's, there's a wall of champions on the outside. Oh, there's a bad frame rate. We're going really fast though. There's a front straight. This is gonna break right down to second gear here from the top. This is also a few years ago. This is before DRS, before anything. Oh, yeah. That's fine. So we're gonna go super fast up this hill. Look at the walls, how gonna close hit, they are. It's gonna hit Holy fifth gear shit. here and slow down to third. Downhill again, right almost touched this wall. Inside here, almost touched this wall again. Right up to six here, and then he's gonna go back down to second gear again. Right down. We were, yeah, saying, we're, we're standing, standing right on the here, outside right of there yeah. qualifying. Oh, that's, that's going to be us? Yeah. yeah. Sick. This is when the uh, the chicanes have grass. If you look on the outside here, when he comes up to this next chicane, grass. Right now, they paved it. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, this one, yeah. Lame. Left, right. Here we go. A little kink left here, and he's coming up to the U-turn. Right to the hairpin. He's going to go down to his first gear here. Like, oh. like 40 kilometers an yes. hour right here. So good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, I thought, we gonna, I thought we were going to be right over here. That's we'll well. On the left right That's there. Well. In that space. Or ah, in this okay. space right yeah. here. This is the main back straight that goes mad fast. He's going to hit 330-ish yeah. here. Uh, I think and then uh, he's going to slam the brakes down to third gear again and try not to hit this outside wall of champions. See those those white curbs? Those yeah. curbs on the inside? They were huge. Yeah, it's very tall. You've seen the picture, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, well, I just, sort of, I just started to notice them. And that's a lap around the Circuit de Gilleville. Okay, I think. So in about uh, 30 to 40 hours, you'll be able to touch them. We'll be there. We'll be we'll standing be, we'll there. Be there. We'll be standing yeah. on this. I think my favorite is this this turn right here. Yeah, this is my favorite part, too. It's hard to get it from the video game right here. Yeah, yeah. from the video. Gotcha. When I play the video boom, game boom. inside, it definitely looks different from the from the game. Well, this was also this. This is like 2012 or actually oh, 2010. Earlier, earlier than that. Yeah, even before. Oh, yeah, I think it's from 2010. I saw 2011. 2011. Yeah. Well, uploaded on 2011. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah, definitely yeah. old. Liuzzi hasn't been I mean, around this for, looks for this long. Fucked. Like it looks what? nothing like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the car's way different. Yeah, the yeah. car is way different. The Force India has the brighter colors on it. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh my god, this weekend's gonna be awesome. We're going. We're going to Montreal uh, uh, Wednesday. Eh? If, if anybody, if anybody's listening and actually wants to hang out after ten o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, Wednesday we're gonna be there. Uh, this podcast should be up online 
uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yeah. So uh, if if you're listening on Wednesday and you, you're getting to Montreal on Wednesday, uh, hit us up. Yeah, we'll be there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yo, Russia's. Let's. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad that this showed up. That we're talking about uh, the tracks that maybe will not make it, or if if new tracks get at, keep getting added to the calendar. This is a new track as of last year, and apparently they're already bankrupt. Yeah. So this was this was a company started by they're called the uh, Formula Sochi or Sochi Formula One or something right. like that. It's a company started by the Russian government. To hold the race, promote the race, collect the ticket money, insurance, all that stuff. Right. They went out of business. But I think uh, somebody stepped in already. Like, the race isn't in jeopardy. Some other companies stepped in and will be. this will be hosted. Oh, Oof, this year. This year, anyway. This well, year. Well, we talked about this a, f uh, a few months ago, too, that there's yeah. a whole bunch of talk that uh, Russia really wants the prestige of having Moscow. a race. Yeah, in Moscow, in downtown, in, in the city. This in is the In the city. The in the city. Yeah. Who knows if and when it'll happen, but they just spent like hundreds of millions of dollars to build that track that... Isn't Moscow, like the city, like a bunch of circles? Uh, it's probably have roundabouts. No, I mean like the design of the city. Yo, pull up a map. Pull up a map. Let's look it up. Uh, oh, I should just fucking... Yeah, I'm not really sure. And as... Yeah, it is. There you go. Oh, okay, yeah. See what I mean? Right. Like, it's like oh, shit, yeah. Most yeah, of the yeah. European cities are like this, though. Like... You know, there's only something like no. It it it, it does have a lot of ring roads around it. Yeah, like you can tell. Yeah, bigger ones. Ah, yeah right, but there you go. a lot of European cities are like this. Like you can. You That's know, that is awesome though. Like, can you imagine like just like a track like that? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Go oh, imagine like river. going across a bridge and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would be fucking super sick. Well, okay, you know, like Toronto, New York City are set up in grids. Yeah. Chicago, like really big sure. cities like that. Yeah. Tokyo. There's something like a dozen or less cities in the world that are in grids like that. Mm. Almost all cities are set up like this, just wherever, oh, really? wherever the roads go. Yeah, they just kind of go. Yeah, this grid thing is pretty rare. It's efficient. And if you don't go, now you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's smart. It's smart. I'll, I'll give. Him, I'll give them that. I've always liked the well, aerial. Well, it, it it preserves the integrity of the downtown, right? Right. If if it's not if because. When cities are built all in grids, mm. it, it occurs what happens to some place, places like Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. Where you don't really have to live downtown if you work downtown because you can just get downtown. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Toronto's actually fighting right now, like in, in a in a big way, to get rid of that, to get rid of the key, the the, the gardener, the gardener. Yeah. yeah. Well, part of it, and I, I it's not so much Toronto as the developers, right. Condo developers. Well, but no, but we we would we would benefit. I mean, as a, a quality of life, we would benefit uh, if the waterfront was more accessible. That's my point of view. Yeah, part of it. Only on the east of Young side, yeah. east of Jarvis side. Anyways, these people listening aren't from Toronto. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> aside aside from this Moscow Hear about fiasco, problems. I shouldn't really be talking about this because I don't know enough details, but. Bernie has proposed to India and the uh, I guess capital partners that they own Bernie. and run the track to uh, bring bring the race back. He's giving them sort of a deadline, which I think is next week, um, to come up with a plan if they want to be re-hosting the race in, in but, India. But what you know what happened is that when they did do that race in India, yeah. it wasn't it wasn't publicized enough. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there was there almost nobody there. And yeah, they didn't. They, they didn't, didn't do their. It, they lost money, a, a lot of money. Yeah, they didn't do their their advertising. But job. since then, they've done that. Um, what was it like? GT Academy, like Sony went there and had a big contest the, for India one, specifically for one, India. Uh, the uh, Force India's won from a billion. Did you hear about Sorry? that? Say again. Okay, I, okay, I'm sure you would have heard about this years ago when when it was launched. Uh, Force India, when they had money, <laughs> back when VJ had money, uh, when he was a billionaire instead of a m simple millionaire now. Um, <laughs> down, down to two commas. Yeah. Um, Tres commas. He. Jesus. Shit. Holy fuck, dude. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, so he he basically like started like a contest to. See if he could find the next racing talent in India, right? Mm, yeah. And it, it was called the one from a billion because there's a billion people in India or whatever. Um, and and he maybe what I'm saying was related. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably, maybe. Um, out of this, case, I, they actually like went and found like 
the one driver. They, they they went to like actually like really like small towns and whatever, and just all over India. Uh, and they like set up like a karting stage, and, and they just had like local kids come by. But obviously, it, it wasn't just anybody. It could it, it it had to be somebody that has either some experience or uh, like you said, like maybe through video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was the same thing, but I know Sony did something mm-hmm. also with Gran Turismo. Yeah, they're touting the physics engine and whatever they have yeah. built into that. It's yeah. supposed to be super realistic. They're taking the fastest Gran you, Turismo guys and then strapping them into race cars. You know who came Not out? Not guys, kids, like 14, yeah. 15, 16. Oh you know who came out of that uh, one from a billion? Who's that? Arjun Maney. I don't know who that Arjun is. Arjun Maney was the winner of the one from a billion. I only know one Arjun. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I, I <laughs> Arjun. No, no, Arjun Maney. He's... Uh, uh, I've actually mentioned him before in this program. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. a kid from Bangalore, India, and he is currently racing in European Formula Three. Oh shit! It's <laughs> with with Lance Stroll and uh, Tatiana. Crazy. Yeah. Fuck. And actually, like while while I'm on the top topic, okay, I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna go since we're talking about this. Yeah. So Arjun Maney is a kid from uh, whereas his okay in India he wouldn't be considered poor. Mm-hmm. Right, like because his his dad actually owns some sort of uh, company that does like something or other for like machining or some some technical engineering service. Right. Anyway, uh, he's he's not he's not poor uh, by Indian standards. He's not poor by even Canadian or American standards. But let's not, he's not a millionaire. He's not he's not a Kvyat. Kvyat, for example, uh, yeah. Daniel Kvyat is is like his. He comes from, well, Lance Stroll, Rosberg. billions, Rosberg, right? Um, Lots of these guys. Yeah, pay driver. So yeah, he's not rich. He, 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 but he he's a talented driver from India, from Bangalore. Like so, Bangalore is you know let's let's call it. It's not a big city in it. It's not one right. of the biggest. Um, and he made it. He won this thing. The thing is that right after he won the one from a billion, that's when Force India's fortune started to decline. And and the guy that that they did. went from a billion to one. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> right, right, guys. Yeah, right, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. <laughs> you right. Um. So for for a part of actually his his racing career, he has been ex- sponsored actually by the. Uh, British Racing Steps Foundation, which is awesome mm-hmm. that they actually took him on because mm-hmm. uh, they saw something in him. And he actually raced with, remember, the very, very beginning of the year when Lance Stroll, I kept saying that he was racing in New Zealand mm-hmm. with yep. the Toyota Racing Series. Right, yep. right. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was his closest competitor. So even though even though Lance won, yeah. uh, Arjun Mani oh, like, actually like, won a few races over Lance Stroll. Yeah, like he, he so he's he's a very good kid and he's he's not rich, not no, he's not extravagantly rich right. or you know rich by any means. <laughs> and he, he's actually making his steps and now he is with Lance again um at uh, European Formula 3 and he actually has had a few qualifyings ahead of him uh, ahead of Lance and uh, and no, uh, yeah 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 some Lance. of them yeah and he and he started yeah he started as a one from Billy so yeah, it's 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 cool that you brought that up so it maybe, says a lot for Gran Turismo yeah so maybe in the future because of him if he ever if if Arjun Maney ever makes it to to Formula One in one capacity or another he'll definitely bring more of a of an Indian interest than Narain Karthike and I'll tell you that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good commentator, though. Yeah. Oh, or no, no. You're, you're, so, I'm, oh, yeah. You're talking about uh, 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 Karun Chandok. Chandok, yeah. Yes. A- again, same. Th- he same will be idea. more popular than Karun Chandok because he's. In a way, he's he's a guy from the actual people. Karun Karun Chandok is rich. Yeah, he is a, rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in his career, I think he had a lot of bad luck. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. but he also was in Formula One material. He's more Formula yeah. E. Like Bruno, yeah, <laughs> it didn't quite cut it. Yeah, uh, but but it, it, now that and and since I'm talking about uh, since I brought up Lance and Tatiana, uh, something funny happened because that there were last weekend there were a Monza the the race of uh, Formula European Formula Three was a Monza, and remember when we were talking to Tatiana that she said you know what because Max Verstappen got into Formula One after just Formula Three. Uh, so many just inexperienced 16 year old kids have come yeah. that are like kind of ruining the racing. Mm. La- this past weekend, yeah. they canceled their third race yeah. be- due to bad driving. 
It's too many accidents and crashes. And yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, because he's yeah like in 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 that lens. I'm I wish now I wish that Tatiana and 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 Lance maybe weren't there because they, I I I fully feel that they're not showing their full cards because like she described it. You go now. You show up to qualify. And you have 20 minutes to qualify, and everybody and their mother is fucking on the track and just right. like yeah, you know what I mean. And like the, the, so this kept happening and actually. So the first race had a couple of or one or two safety cars, right? Uh, due to like bad crashes. The second race had two safety cars, and, and considering that these are half an hour races, yeah, had two safety cars before the halfway distance when it got canceled, like or or when it when it got red flagged, stopped, and they said no more. Yeah, the thing about Monza is that Monza is very fast. You have mm. to be like, if you're gonna like, a, if if you're gonna attempt anything around the chicanes, you have to you have to know what you're doing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that's I, I, I can't say anything about the results because they were completely irrelevant because they both got crashed into right uh, throughout the weekend. So it doesn't matter. Let's not talk about that. But yeah, uh, Lance Stroll, Tatiana Calderon. I wish. That because of that, because because there's so many kids now, like in in Formula Three, I wish that they were racing somewhere else. Hmm. I don't know. So I gotta say, I got really one more thing to say for this week, anyway. Yeah. Um, just it's sort of related to that too. If anyone watches uh, Jay Leno's Garage on YouTube, it's a weekly show. Uh, I think he's pretty much exhausted his own collection on this show. It's it's been running for a couple of years now. He does like a weekly like. 15 to 30 minute ish show, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, where he just takes one of his cars, shows it, talks about the history of it, where it came from, how it relates to racing, mm. shows how he rebuilt it. He talks about it, and then there's like a five minutes at the end, or a couple of minutes where he takes it out on the road. So this week was a little different. This is the first time I've seen this. They brought in the, uh, the new Nissan Nismo LMP GTR, which is their, their, uh, WC racing. It's not going to be their prototype racer for the nice. Le, for the Le Mans. Yeah, it's like yeah. the badass. Basically, Le Mans is uh, the reason I'm bringing this up. Really, is because uh, Jay talked a bunch about um, Formula One this week and how this. Yeah, that's it right there. It looks really weird. Holy shit! So that they, looks they awesome. had they had this car minus the engine in his garage. So this there's a picture of it at the bottom there without the engine without the engine on it. So the middle right to the right one, the black, yeah. That's it. I mean without the cut without the cover over it. But uh yeah, basically um so th weird. this week's episode was a little different. So if you're into F one, it's worth checking out. This is the only uh LMP car that is front engined. Yeah, I see. The that. Uh, the hybrid system is a centrifugal flywheel, which I think he oh. said spins at it's can case, 50, encased 52K? in a vacuum because go okay go back to that last picture i want to tell you something about that for a second it's encased in a vacuum this flywheel it weighs 16 pounds and when he hits the brakes when you hit the brakes mm -hmm. the flywheel absorbs a lot of the energy of the car right spins up to fifty three thousand rpm and uh the edges are spinning so fast they're well breaking the speed of sound so it spins in a vacuum <laughs> It's it's crazy. They have uh, fuel res fuel rec restrictions, kind of like F one. But aside right. from that, the engineering is like wide open. And uh, this episode, they didn't do like the typical lame driving around L A with the car. Mm -hmm. They just for like twenty five minutes walked around and talked about the technology. So you see those two holes there, because the engine's not at the gaping back. Gaping ones. Yeah, those big gaping holes are yeah. tunnels. If the camera was lower, you can see right. Oh, look at to go to the pictures to the right. Are the related images? See that? You see the Holy light? Holy shit. Yeah. You can yeah. see right from the back to the front of the car. They're just oh, tunnels. They're just fuck. tunnels. For added uh, downforce. Yeah. So they, they did not let Jay Leno drive this car. But instead, I can't remember the, the guy's name, but he's like 23, 24, 25-ish. And he won a seat in this car from Gran Turismo as well. From the uh, oh, on, shit. The online find, find a racer. So he got down to the last level. Got He's British. Got flown to a racetrack. And now he's a professional and drives this car. That's awesome. In Le Mans. And this car is incredible, man. Like You see him drive a lap of it. Jesus. It's so crazy. I it's love, it's I really love worth it. If you're not into Jay Leno's Garage or whatever, if you've seen it before, this episode is different and it's worth seeing. If you haven't seen it ever, just this is a good episode to start with for sure. The latest Jay really Leno's cool Garage. Show. Yeah, because it's not like a typical show like you think on TV. It's on YouTube. He's just like, this is my car, very casual. 
And he has a, a badass collection, if anyone knows. Uh, sick. This guy uh, is crazy. Yeah, that, yeah that, that is pretty cool. Um, actually, a lot of people say that... Um, the, uh, so LMP, we talk about LMP. LMP stands for Le Mans Prototype. And, yeah. and a lot of people talk about uh, this type of racing as Le Mans Racing. What it's actually technically called is endurance. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, the World Endurance Championship, WEC. Uh, WEC, and 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 the races are minimum six hours or something like that. So yeah, they're, oh, they're endurance. It's endurance right. racing. You have to, and you you're with a team and shit. Um, this this so, type of racing is. Look at how tight that thing is. Look at the exhaust comes out of the hood because they wanted the exhaust pipes as short as possible. Like, look at right here. If you put the are they seeing this? So yeah, where yeah, your yeah. where your mouse is here. Yeah. That's the exhaust pipe. It's about six or eight inches long. There's the there's, Oh my god. There's the turbo compressor and there or the turbo what it's the fan and then the exhaust comes right out the roof. Holy shit. <laughs> right out of the hood. Yeah. Yeah. This is a crazy type of racing and a lot of people like yeah. do say that out of the world endurance championship, right now you are getting uh really, really, really fun racing. And, yeah, and really man. interesting technological developments. That's the, uh, the main thing is yeah, the technology is crazy. Oh, you and can it's, do whatever and it's you want almost because of because of these cars. Just you know, even the way they look and because they they have to have lights and shit, and they have to go on for a long time. Some of the races are twenty four hours, yeah. like Le Mans is. The dude that uh, Leno talked to was the chief engineer, and he said for Le Mans they have seven to nine drivers well, just for per car. Well, but, but that's the thing. So more development that is relevant to road cars is maybe coming out of uh, WEC right. than Formula One. And that, that's the thing that they want to change. Yeah. For Formula One or for WEC? For Formula One. Now, yeah. WEC doesn't want to change that, obviously. Yeah, there was actually like a, f a fair bit. Like, I was surprised how much they talked about F1. Well, obviously, the chief engineer is like deep into well, racing and European. You, you, you can tell just by the, the number of like big car manufacturers that are in, for, in, in yeah. WEC uh, versus F1. And that, so Leno mentioned, like, whoa, are we ever going to see, like, a centrifugal or whatever, a, fl a flywheel hybrid system in a GTR? And the guy goes, who knows, in the future, you know? The, that's that's crazy, man. There's never been one on the road. Mm. And uh, ah, I forget the last point I had. But anyway, yeah. This car is badass. Quite badass. It's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Uh, you see, look, look, look at that, look at that. Yeah, that's how, that's, so that's the back part of it. Right. Yeah, they are legitimate, like, wind tunnels going on. That's yeah, interesting. That's full, very cool. Full very tunnel cool. right through. That's we haven't seen, we haven't seen how, if it's worth anything on track though, right? I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. I think they have raced, I don't know. I think they've raced it, but I'm not for sure. Well, I'm, I'm sure if they're going to go and actually take it unusual. to, take it to, Les uh, to, to, to uh, to Le Mans, like they, they they probably know a thing or two, you know, like they, they know what they're doing. Oh yeah, one more one more thing um, about this anyway that the uh, the engineer like Leno is asking he asks he knows obviously a lot about cars asking like how are the tires last because uh, obviously you have a front engined car right the front tires are fatter on this car than the back wheels which is kind of interesting and oh. the guy mentioned there's is it as a front engine front drive yeah. It is. Oh, front drive. Front drive. And wow. I, I think the one thing that they have is the um, the hybrid system. They're still testing it. And because the rules are so wide, they're trying to figure out if it makes more sense. They've designed the car to have a shaft that can go to the back. They can drive the back wheels with the hybrid flywheel which yeah, flywheel. that okay. flywheel gives uh i was i was thinking like oh they can just deploy that over a couple gear shifts but i guess leno knows more about cars than me he's like what do you get out of that about three or four seconds and the guy's like yeah you're, that's about you get about three seconds of boost yeah once it's spinning you get can boost yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So they're trying to figure out if it's more efficient to boost it from the front of the back okay. based on tire wear and things like that so the tire shit. wear uh nissan's tire supplier i'm not sure about all the lm cars is michelin and Michelin wants to come back into F1 and do. build tires that can last the whole race, which they can do. These guys said, he said, this car can run on one set of tires for five to or four to six stints, which is like full tanks of gas. So they're coming Holy in refueling. Shit. They can go four to six stints of tanks of gas. So I'm, I don't know how many kilometers they get on a gas tank, but... Here, just just because this is kind of F1... Okay, when, when F1, before, before the introduction to uh, of the new... 
uh, regulations regarding engines a yeah. couple of years ago. Um, they were actually considering doing a flywheel recovery mechanism mm -hmm. that was still being like touted. And um, if you, uh, Mike, I mean, for you and like mm -hmm. whoever's listening that like isn't quite aware, uh, fully aware of like how this works. So um, I think it's just not as. So, Pertaining to uh, well, streetcars is why they do. No, it. but it could be. Like you, so you, you know how? Um, have you ever played with the with the spinning top? Yes. Right. Like that is that is an example of of a freely rotating uh, um, flywheel. Right. So because the, so the, the wider part of the spinning top yeah. would would essentially be the flywheel, and if you when you spin it, you use a certain amount of force and and, and energy. Yeah. That when you apply that, the the spinning top, what it's doing is basically retaining that energy in the ro like in, in in its rotations, and it it, it the spinning top stays like uh, you know whatever uh, upright for so long because yeah. of that energy that you put into it, right? Right. Um, I, I I don't know if you if you guys ever play with like the, the, there used to be these toy yeah. motorcycles that like you like you pull a thing and like the back wheel starts spinning and then you like just let it go and it would go so far. That's another application of a, of a flywheel, right? That was actually right. Leno's example <clears throat> in his episode was those similar. I, my grandma's house, we used to have these, yeah. those little toy cars that you go like, zoom, 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 right. zoom, zoom, yeah. zoom, 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 And then you let it go and it takes <laughs> off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's the, also a flywheel. Yeah, exactly. They, they, they use a flywheel because it, it's, it's a pretty, pretty good uh, way to store energy that is like like it's very simple it's a very right. simple way now f1 was sort of toying with that with that concept and making it so that um in in braking uh, and, and i think that's probably what the lmp cars do um under braking they'd use some of that energy uh they they, uh, they use for braking instead of like being just like the, the the brake calibers like pressing and stopping the thing, it would actually be spinning the wheel to yeah. very very high revolutions, just like you know. And because it's in a vacuum, it doesn't have to deal with uh, with the air resistance. And once it's spinning in a vacuum, it won't stop really. It won't really stop um, anytime soon until you apply to something. So you basically can. You, so the car is braking, and so imagine this: under braking, that's when it's charging. That's when you like, you know, yeah, do the. Yeah. Zoo, 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 zoo. So the car is like spinning the the, the the flywheel, and a lot of the thing is that. So after this is presumably around a corner, right? Mm -hmm. So you're braking, charging or spinning the flywheel, and then at the exit of the corner, what cars have? Well, yeah, exactly. But what cars oh, have a lot it's of like the problem. Mario Kart? Exactly. <laughs> you you have an extra boost because yeah. combustion engines. Because of their operating range, they're, they're they're not as good as like just coming back and launching like at full power right, right. after the corner. Right. The this things will like give them that. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, beautiful. that car was mind blowing. It's it's really worth a watch, and uh, you get to see that dude who won the the PlayStation race or whatever. You, yeah. you get to see him do a lap of uh, Le Mans with it. It's pretty cool, man. He's like uh, he's like a baby Hamilton. <laughs> He's like British. He has the the mohawk and everything. Oh, okay. race car driver. One, okay. One last thing before before we start uh, wrapping this up. Who has the lap record for Montreal? You're not gonna believe this. The lap record for Montreal. Yep. I Who's got it? I don't know. Schumacher. Nope. Mm. Not Schumacher. I don't know. It's gotta be someone <laughs> shitty, otherwise. One, I one, one try. It. One guess for you, Danny. The lap record. I don't know, man. It's, I don't know. Rubinho. Rubens Varekel. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rubens. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. That's, is, it, is it safe to end on that note? Did you see who won the Indianapolis 500? Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo. Yeah. Juan Pablo. Yeah, Montoya. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, I'm a Colombian national. But he's, he's won it before. I think that was his second win, yeah. Yeah, he's won it before. Did so you see that dude who crashed there? No. That was an intense crash. Mm. He almost died. The dude hit... I think it was 126 G, I want to say. What? Hit the outside wall in practice or qualifying on Friday. Holy shit. This, that Indianapolis, they stretch it out. I think it might be four days. He hit the, I watched the crash because it didn't seem incredible. Like he's coming around the banked corner. Mm -hmm. It's the outside. But I think his, uh, something from the front of the car, the suspension, one of the A arms or something, yeah. came through the crash structure, the cockpit, the monocoque, went through his right thigh. And just ripped it apart. And he was just like, oh my man. god, he was bleeding out. <laughs> but uh, 
I, I try. I looked him up like a day or two later. Like, oh man, I hope that, like see if this guy's okay. They showed him in the hospital, like with his wife watching. He's watching the race. His right. le- legs all tied up, but yeah. he didn't die. But oh I think he had 126 God. G's. Holy fuck! Insane. The problem. Not, with, the problem with Indy 500 is that it's the same. Well, it's, it's the same weekend as Montreal or as Monaco, though. So. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm not it's, gonna watch it. It's older, but yeah. it's American. Older. Then the Monaco Grand Prix, I beg to differ. I don't know. It's close. It's got to be close. Ma- I think, Monaco I think it's over 100 around, years, too. Monaco has been around for, like, since the 20s. It, nice. cannot, it cannot be over 100 years. There weren't cars around. Yeah, not... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, get, get, look it up. Look it up quickly before we go. Yeah, yeah. How, last, in, Indianapolis 500. Fact. And one thing I'm sorry about uh, Max's crash is... Uh, they haven't released any data. Like mostly crashes, they've released the G forces and everything. That's on like the FIA to do that, no? Not the team. If if they want to, though, right? Ninety yeah, ninth running. There we go. It's been. Okay. I think it's older. It's been running since two thousand and fourteen, or since nineteen fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ninety ninth running. Holy yeah. shit. Sixteen. Nineteen. Nineteen sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Then that yeah, is this older. Was the 99th Crazy. Running. Yeah. Correct. Play us out, buddy boy. All right, guys, DJ. we will see you in Montreal. Oh yeah, okay. I'll see you in my driveway tomorrow, three thirty p.m. Could, yeah, three thirty. Is it three thirty? Try to try to get out early. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll try. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be about three forty, I think, though, because okay. uh, I'm a bit further than I was before. I gotta where's, take the subway. Where, where's, where's the cart with the stuff so we can start loading it? Uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk. We'll talk. I'll pull it out into the driveway. Okay. Yeah. Um. Check us out, guys, if, uh, our, our listeners and, and watchers and everybody. Um, Twitter followers, look out for Periscopes. Yeah, we will We will be putting a lot of content out this weekend. Uh, we, we, this is a fact. This is, uh, it's real. It's real. All right. It's very real. It's real. All right, guys. See you later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.